And I said I was done with Jamaica, it's not worth it, you know, the amount of shade I would get on me, everybody was against me, they were just fighting, oh no, he's not gonna do this, the car slowed, it's this, he's full of chat. I wanted him to win. I wanted him to win. In this moment, it felt like Jamaica had just defeated the United States of America. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna finish what I started, and that's it. And the only way I can do that is if I hold a national record. I am the fastest man you know what I'm saying? With a front-wheel drive car in the country. Welcome back to another episode of the Street Alpha Podcast. I am your host, Tooks. Today, we got my co-host, Mar here. Yes, sir. From Minty Detailing. The, best. the official headquarters for Street Alpha Podcast since day one. Yep, yep, yep. The and best. Uh, gotta give a shout out to Willie too from Checkmate as well. But we are now here officially. Yep. Um, so today we got four or five back in the building again. I know it's pretty soon, but four or five set out to accomplish setting the record for the fastest front wheel drive car in Jamaica. So all that stuff he was talking on the last episode that you guys saw, um, he actually flew out to Jamaica multiple times actually. And broke the record so today we have officially i can say now the king of front wheel drive cars in jamaica four five nyc let's clap it up for four five <laughs> welcome back and i was like three claps uh, <laughs> welcome back, back. Welcome, back. welcome back with with the new name new title you know new title yeah i said it on the first uh, episode we did yep and uh i was kind of hesitant because i i mean i, I thought you had accomplished the record over there but right. uh well that was the king of mexico king of mexico yeah. you know i won an event but um to everyone in jamaica oh that's not an official event yeah. you know that doesn't mean anything i said oh right. really i have a trophy and i got paid so yeah yeah yeah. but i say you know what we'll just throw that to this you know back burner and i said remember i was calling out any front wheel drive car in jamaica yeah you did you did you didn't, you didn't race anything since right so what was happening by me saying i'll race any front wheel drive car no one stepped up right so I said, cool, if no one's going to race me, what's the next thing to do? I want to find out what the fastest time is here in Jamaica, and I'll just smash that. What was the fastest time? 9.38. What did you do? 9.19. 9.38. Was it, what kind of car was it? That the Honda 30, Civic, front wheel drive. Honda Civic, front wheel drive. You, right. know who, you know who the person is? I never met him, but I, you know, I know the name. Xavier he wasn't there? Mori. No, he was not okay. there, no. But he held that record since 2017. Oh, so damn. from 2017 until two weeks ago, which right. was, what date was that? I forgot the name. I don't name. even know. I don't even know uh, the I mean, date. The date. looking at me. I you don't can't, know. How do you forget the date, bro? That's a legendary. Know today, today, is. today is the 16th. Oh, say 16th. So this was uh, July 30, I think it was July 28th to 31st. Damn, that was a while ago. Was yeah, it was two weeks, two weeks ago? ago. Yeah. So damn. that was at Drag Rivals. I did it in qualifying. It was literally my third time driving the car my yeah. third time behind the wheel yeah i broke the record so the first time i had a first second and third gear when i went into third the transmission exploded wow the first pat the second pass at that event which was like two weeks ago i went first second and the intercooler pipe blew off so i just rolled the car went like 10 three mm -hmm. we put the pipe back up tightened up the clamp my first full pass ever in the car ever all four gears connecting i went nine one which i broke the record Wow. wow. So, all right. We jumped the gun already because I right. wanted to ask you some questions about the setup. Um, yep. A little bit about how you were able to source parts. I know we spoke about that, how hard it is to get parts in Correct. Jamaica. Correct. So, um, and That's going to be is, a very informational topic right there. Yeah, yeah. So this is very spontaneous because you didn't even mention to any, I don't even know if you told anybody you were going to do this. Um, and it was, I think you had, at that time you had mentioned that you were pretty much like trying to go other places and race and you kind of were just like at a weird spot right now where you're just comfortable right but you actually said you know what like i'm gonna finish what i started yeah that's exactly what happened i said right. i was done with jamaica it's not worth it you know the amount of uh shade i would get on me everybody was against me they were just fighting oh no he's not gonna do this the car slowed it's this he's full of chat mm -hmm. you know and i said you know what let me just go i'm just gonna finish what i started and that's it yeah and the only way i can do that is if i hold a national record i am the fastest man you know what I'm saying? With a front-wheel drive car in the country. So every car that drives on, the, on that section of Earth, which is Jamaica's Island, yeah, yeah. that has front-wheel drive operable vehicles, I have the fastest. I own, drive, and race the fastest one in that island. 
Yeah, well, he major. did it. Number I know. I know. A lot talk. of people in the comments on that video. Um, I mean, a lot of people are showing you some love. No, and right. Of right, course. Right. Before I we even get to that, hold on. I gotta give you. Your, I gotta give you your flowers because um, your first episode did really well on the, on the channel, and it definitely helped the growth. Right. And you also shared this stuff, so I really appreciate that, bro. Thank right, you. Right. So right. Right. Yeah, no, real. not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, One I gotta hand washes the other. You know yeah. how it is. Nah, We're only you know, doing you know, what we do. Two washes the face. That's how it goes, right? One hand washes the other. Two washes the face. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I appreciate you sharing the clips um, to kind of get, you know, the podcast yep, started yep, yep. up. Um, but in the comments on YouTube, people were mentioning that, um, you know, oh, he's all talk and Correct. he went out here and raised this person, yep. which I didn't get a chance to pull up the person that people were talking about. Um, they said they mentioned something about you raised somebody out there and you weren't trying to race or you lost or something like that. So right. um, are you familiar with any of these comments? that these Yeah, people we were had saying? it in the first podcast. Okay. I even talked about it. So, right. You know, they can go back. If you guys are watching this podcast, you can go back to the f second podcast. Or was it the first? It was the first one. That oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So the first podcast ever, you can, you know, rewind back to right. the YouTube. Yeah. And you'll see the first episode and follow what we were saying. Right. Right. So. All right. So we're going to talk some Honda stuff, right? Because I know a lot of people that came up to me um, in the past couple of weeks and said, yo, love the podcast, but you guys never have any Honda guys on. And I really honestly don't, which is weird because I'm a Honda guy. Right. But um, wait, how are you going to say we don't have a Honda guy? Our first episode was a Honda guy. But everybody else has been 340s, BMWs. Uh, like, it's, it's never like anybody who's at the track. Consistently a Honda guy? Oh, okay, okay. You know, okay. and honestly, I haven't even seen, I haven't even been to a Honda run in since... 2000 i've never been to a run period yeah well i've been to runs but not it, you don't see hondas <laughs> i don't even know where the runs be yeah at. you it, rarely see hondas yeah the nowadays closest, it's nowadays, a little scarce you see maybe fat boy that's probably the only yeah he's putting a work out there he yeah. races a lot well, other than that yes he's got a bubble yeah eg hatch case series yeah EG. he builds it himself tunes it himself yeah. give him respect you know he's out there in the streets yeah you know, I would be out there too every single night too. It's just I'm so busy, you know, business wise, right. you know, property stuff going on. That's the thing. I don't want to saturate the content with just four or five because obviously he's a Honda guy. Yeah. Right. I mean, so if there's any guys who are out there, I mean, I'm sure we could talk offline about who who else is out there. Right. That That's we can interview. In, in the Honda f right. family. And, yeah. Um, we could talk about that. But now we have a Honda guy, so we can talk about some Honda stuff. So, um, talk about this build. What's in it, bro? And what made you choose to go with that that long block? All right. First things first, so we can kind of fill everyone in with this black car that's in Jamaica. Right. I named it Mayweather version two. Mayweather version two. Right. Because Mayweather one was my first car that right. gave me my reputation, what I have today. Okay. And where's that? It's up still here. here. It's yeah. in America. It's still when here. When is it coming back on the streets? What's that? When is it coming back on the streets? Uh, I might bring it to World Cup this year. I might go to Maryland this year with it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because Jamie Marsh, which is my tuner, yeah. close like is my brother. That guy is like Einstein. He's like dying for me to come back into all motor. Yeah. No turbo, no nothing. I haven't been in it in years. Oh, this I'm car talking is so damn loud, bro. You know, this is I haven't drove an all motor car since since the, the maybe gray 2012. One. Nah, remember the gray one? The four door. It was all motor. Oh yeah, like, but that oh. was a stock motor. I'm talking about like fully built, oh, oh, you know, build, stuff build. like that race oh, car. Okay, okay, okay. It's been at least eleven years since yeah. I've been behind an all motor car. Yeah. So I'm I'm very I'm thinking about doing it. But Mayweather version two is I gave that car in Jamaica that name because the, the purpose of building it was just to come and dominate anything that's in its way. Yeah. Right. You know, and people take this, oh, he's showing off, he's this, he's that. I didn't do that. I did that because everyone doubts me. Yeah. You know, no one believed if I say, bro, I will build a car and break a record. You know, somebody hears that, oh, oh he's bullshitting, he's full yeah. of talk, he's this, he's that. So that was the reason why I did that. Yeah. I bought the car in Jamaica. I paid uh damn, how do I convert that? <laughs> well, it's twelve hundred US, so twelve hundred um, bucks. Yeah, I think show. it's about a hundred and fifty thousand Jamaican, if I'm saying it right. Don't okay. quote me on this. You know, I'm still learning the currency don't stuff. Don't quote me either. I don't know. Right, but it was yeah. about twelve hundred US dollars that I paid for the car. Yeah. I bought it in Jamaica as a complete shell. Yeah, dashboard, seats. It all it needed was a regular engine, and it'll be a complete street car. You could actually get inspection. It'll pass everything: headlights, right. horn, seats, right. heater. Everything was in it. Bought the car in Jamaica. Brought it to my friend Will's shop, Will Motorsports okay. in Kingston. They stripped the entire car. We had another kid named CJ, another guy named Blacka. Right. They did the chassis, cutting it and stuff like that. So okay. once I bought it, I said, this is a purpose build. Purpose build meaning I'm buying this car, building this car, driving this car to break the record in Jamaica. Okay. Car was built in two weeks, 14 days. Buy, disassemble, reassemble, you know, and complete. Right. Um... As you, we'll get back to where you were asking as the build. Yeah. So what? What? Um. Okay. So th to be the fastest, right? Would you rather go with a B series or K series? 
anyone would work. Okay. We could make any platform work. I like the K series nowadays. You right. know, I'm Why? a B series guy by heart. I was B series from day one till now. Yeah. Um, Why I only K switched series, over though. Huh? Why K series? I don't know. It just makes the power easy, man. You know, it's just a stock engine. You'll make 750 horsepower. Yeah. Stock. 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 Bl- stock block or stock. stock? Stock. Everything in Yeah, stock. How much? 700. 750. Just boost? I mean, you got to put an oil pump on it, a stock oil pump, maybe some head studs. We don't even need the head studs. Yeah. And everyone can vouch for me with this. It's, it does it. It makes the power. Yeah. They have the, So a K-Series actually holds the record for the fastest Honda, right? No. B-Series? Yes. What's the record? 6.9. You're talking about in the world? In the world, yeah. Yeah, Speed Factory. It's 6.91. Don't quote me, everyone, but it, it broke the 6. B series. Yes, B series. Sheesh. All wheel drive. I That's the fastest. It was the K series. I thought nope. no, no, no. Interesting. Fastest Honda Civic in the world is B series powered. And what's his name? Uh, Speed Factory. Shout Interesting. Out to him. So mm-hmm. I got a lot of hate because I'm an S2000 guy. Right. Yes, sir. And <laughs> That's the best of so the best. Now people were hating on me because I my my opinion. I said F series. There right. are the F series motors right. that don't go in the S2000. Correct. So I should have said F20, F22 or F20C, whatever you want to call it, right? right? Me personally, from my experience building those cars, um, those are forged internals as well. Right. And they can hold boost pretty well. Bottom end. Top end, you have issues, but they're pretty reliable motors mm-hmm. if, you put, if you put work into them. Right. Um, so those are capable of, from back in the day, I think there were people running 700 horsepower, but then the head would lift off. So you have to change the head, the head studs. Head studs, right, right, right. right. So... Most people don't even know about the S2000 because not, it's not as common. It wasn't as a, a big platform. Right. Yeah. So it's probably more expensive to build now. Mm-hmm. But back then, when parts were available, it's just as it's the same thing as building any other motor back then, right. from my experience. You're familiar so, with the F-Series motor? Are you familiar with the f Yeah, F-Series? I mean, from raffle cars and stuff, I've kind of yeah. learned the F-Series motor so, by buying S2000. B-Series yeah. is always going to be king, right? I get it. I understand. Yeah. K-Series right. is also. But back then, K-Series was just starting to be discovered. Back in like oh oh eight oh nine, they weren't really doing like crazy records back then. That is it. correct. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So B series is always, you know, people were always doing back then. We yeah. were making a thousand horsepower back in the you know late with a, with a B series. Easy, yeah, because yeah, that's, that's what was around. K series. What yeah. was the fir- what was the first K series car that had? Well, that's the thing. Like even then, they were on cars that like you wouldn't even think about taking the motors out of. And K series was around a long time, man. Yeah. RSXs, RSXs, Civic SIs. Yeah. Remember the eighth gens, yeah. ninth gens, yeah. K series. Yeah, you know they were even around with CRVs. Remember a two thousand two CRV nah, yeah, first yeah, K series. Yeah, I know. yeah. that's O two. K twenty four was around. You know Honda Accords. Right, Honda Accords. Um, I forgot what, what else they were in. T were they in TSXs? Yeah, yeah, TSXs. Yeah. So, um, what made you go with what you chose to go with for this, as opposed to any other platform? Um, or series, pretty I much. Say. I had a lot of the stuff there already. Okay. You know, so I say, you know what? I want to source, build, uh, build, assemble, source. You know, everything. Race. I wanted everything done in Jamaica. Okay. Because that was my goal. Right. I wanted to use the same resources that Jamaica had. Right. So there I was wanted no to excuses. use everything that yeah. they had. <laughs> no my excuses. car was built by Spoon, Will, Blocka, and CJ. Okay. These are all Jamaicans that were born, raised, lives in Jamaica. The parts, the, the long block was already there. Right. Okay. And what was, what was it? It was, no, the, well, the block was there, but I had shipped in parts from America, which okay. everybody does. Right. And Spoon built the engine there, manufactured, assembled the oh, engine there. okay, damn. Put the rods, the bearings, put the head on, torqued it, head gasket. Everything was built there. Nothing was shipped in as a whole. Okay. So from scratch, okay. from the shell, the tires, the rims, the suspension, the motor, the tranny, the wire harness, the dyno tuning, the everything was wow. done in Jamaica. Interesting. So how do you go about like, cause you had the, you had the goal to accomplish the record. Right. So, you know, how much does this, how much does it even cost to do this? Um, if I had to put a price, a bu- like a ballpark. Yeah. Right? How much it costs it to, if you want to break a record with the Honda, what does it cost? It depends where you're breaking a record. But okay. I, let's say in Jamaica. For, in for Jamaica, like, that car, we're probably into that car. It's tough sometimes. You got so much. Yeah, it's a so lot. Much stuff rough, rough number. Under twenty thousand dollars U.S. Under twenty k. Under, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, with definitely. shell and everything. everything. Everything complete. Yeah, complete. It's probably 20K. less than that. Twenty less than that. Yeah. Okay, so now when you have 
everything set up, what are you thinking? Like, you, like, do you even know what you're going to accomplish yet? Or are you kind of just hoping that it's going to break the record? Right. Every, like anyone else, I'm normal just like anyone else. Right. You build something with a dream. This is my goal. I hope it works. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. I tried to attempt it the first time, which the transmission exploded when I entered third gear. Wow. Yeah. But that was a training I sourced in Jamaica. We never opened it. We never looked at it. You know, Got so you. I'm like, damn. How, this did, thing, how did you resolve that problem? I just took out that training and shipped in another gear stack. Gotcha. You know, one of ours from over here, yeah. shipped in good parts. Like I said, I bought that, that training the way it was. Yeah. We never opened it. So it didn't have a cuff. A cuff is something that holds the two, like, gears together, two stacks together. Right. So when it's under load, it doesn't, you know, it's not like moving. Right. That didn't have it. So when I hit third gear and it went into big boost, it, it opened and bust out the casing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so we just hung it up that day. And we would have broke the record that event back in April. Yeah. This would have been done. So what transmission do you have in, in this? In There's this a setup? PPG in there now. PPG. Yeah. Okay. For um, the viewers like me that don't know what a PPG is, you want to give us a little bit it's more? It's one of the, I, like I would that. say I like it's that. the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like some of the I've been talking about. there. It's one of the top, you know, used parts manufacturers right now for a lot of the top leading cars in the world. Yeah. Like rec record-breaking cars. Everyone is using that manufacturer. PPG, PPG oh. yep. gears, yeah. Uh, so now, when you had, when you had the... Uh, when you had the car, when you had the motor in the car, yep. right? Do you do test runs on the street over there? Is it nope. difficult to kind of nope. no? You just take it Why to the track though? and go. I mean, the kind of car it is, it's cut to smithereens. It's like you know, it's just it's hard to drive on the street. I did it when I first you know put the motor in just to make sure the car rolls. Yeah, but I never tested it in the street. <laughs> you know, yes. My what? first pass ever, my first complete pass ever was nine one nine, and I broke the record with my first pass ever connecting all four gears. Well, is the car at its full potential in terms no, of power? Absolutely not. No, it's not. Okay, so, so it's turbocharged. Turbocharged. Okay, yeah. so what turbo do you, you know? You know what turbo? Seventy-two, seventy-five precision. Precision. Yep. Okay. And Regular how much, shelf turbo. How much boost are you running? Sorry, this E eighty-five in Jamaica. No, we're on. A, it's something called one ethanol. What's so that? it's like a it's like a that. can E eighty-five. Oh, the blue to can. our so like you know how we have pumpy eighty five yeah it's like a can base e eighty five so it's a little more pure ah, you know there's like the, the cool. ethanol content is way higher in that yeah than our pump gas well we can still make the power with our fuel here but over there they don't have pump gas oh, wow okay good yep. question yeah was, yeah I'm so, on a roll so you <laughs> I'm on a roll <laughs> so um so how much you know how much uh how many pounds of boost you're running at that pass I think it was thirty. Two. 32 or 30 either 32 peak 34 but held 32 on that pass on the record pass on the record pass yeah okay. what's the overall power on the car oh it's way more man way 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 more that car's gonna go eights it, like next time i go which is october 2nd through 5th yeah off the trailer the car will go eights i promise you 800 no how, how much power eight oh no you're talking about time i said eight seconds no not yeah seconds. No, he's, i think power. he's asking oh, how much power, power yeah. Yeah. at that pass let me see, at 32. So this is another thing. At the dyno, we stopped at 780. Oh, you had a dyno off. That's right. There's a dyno there. Yeah, so we did I, go I, there. Did First video. pass, we did wastegate. Second pass, he was just testing stuff out. Third pass, it did 780. He says, we're done here. That's How much? 780. That's 780. all we saw on the dyno, yeah. So 780 and you ran. J no, no. That was at, I don't even know the boost because I don't know what he had at the boost at that time. Right. But um, Jamie was like, bro, we're done. I don't need nothing else. This car's ready. I was like, are you sure? So he just upped the boost pretty we just much. Remember, at the track over there, you just keep turning up the boost. Yeah. So you could turn it to 50 pounds. You know, yeah. the dyno is just to get kind of a baseline for right. where the air fuel is, make sure everything's working, no pipes blow off, there's no funny noises, no oil is spraying, stuff like that. Right. That's what a dyno is really for. Right. We don't care for horsepower numbers. I never knew that. Right. People, they chase a, a horsepower number like, oh my God, let me, uh, I want to see 1,200. You know, we know we can make it. We've been doing this for years. I think I think most people do numbers. Shops do numbers just to say that, like, oh, we did this. You know? That too. Yeah. That too. Oh, okay, Us, okay. we don't care. Right. I don't, you know, if I need a 1500 horsepower car, I will go build one tomorrow. So a dyno is just pretty much like a doctor checkup. Make sure everything Make sure good. everything is working as it should. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I so, never knew that. Yeah. I always thought dyno is you that. have to see the horsepower number right there. Nah, you don't need that. But we did that at five o'clock in the morning the day before the world, I mean, the record breaking pass in Jamaica, the national pass. So yeah. I did the pass at 3.43 p.m., I think it was. Uh, we left the dyno at 5 a.m. I went to sleep till like 12. We went to the track, and then I did uh, the one pass where the pipe blew off at yeah. around 2.20 or 2.30 p.m., and then at 3.30, which is about an hour later when I put the pipe back up and I went, broke the record. So the second pass that day, third pass ever in that car, yeah. broke the record. 
Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this is this crazy. is like you would think that you don't you have a whole team and people are doing stuff. But no, it just we seems do. Like, we do. We have no, a team. No, of course it's a team, but I'm saying like it's it's in Jamaica. It's not like you're not in the most convenient area to have like Correct. a whole crew and, of people, you right. know. And I, and I'm saying this because I'm surprised not saying that I want acknowledgement or I want, you know, uh, like congratulations from every single person in the world, but it's so potent that we look at how we did it. A car we built, yeah. bought, sourced in Jamaica, all of the resources out there. We built the car in two weeks. My third time driving the car, first time connecting all four gears, broke the record, done, it's yeah. over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it, it, you know, but I'm saying it like this because it's a big deal. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying Jamaica's not looking at it as that, but it's kind of like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, he did it. Or, you know, wow, you know, it was a little bit of, you know, it shook up everybody, but yeah. I'm surprised it didn't have the impact on how it should have um, for so, a record standing for so many years. So do you think that people have like this thing about you going there and kind of just breaking the record and not really show? Like, I feel like people have a thing about you going there and doing that. I don't know if it's because maybe you're not, uh, you're not Jamaican, obviously, right? No. So... There's got to be something that people feel yeah, about. Yeah, like some type of negative. Yeah. It, it's like anywhere you go in the world. Where you're from, you're prideful from where you, you're, you come from. You just stand your ground. Hey, I'm from here. This is what I, you know, where I am. Yeah, this is yeah. what I know. I'm backing this up no matter what. Yeah. Cool. But you can't bash someone that's determined and willing to do a goal, no matter what the goal is. If the man says he's going to do something and did it, you know, you got to give him a, a round of applause. No nice. matter what it was, mm -hmm. that's determination. That's an accomplishment. Yeah. yeah. And the only reason why I said like what we said earlier is that I got to finish what I started. Right. I have to. I went through with the red car, blew the motor the first day I drove it, went back, had another issue, pipes blowing off, trying to dyno tune, you know, this, that, didn't put my tires on. You know, I had so many obstacles in that country because I'm not from there. The resources. Remember, I went to another event. I broke an axle the first pass. Couldn't source an axle. You know, at the time, because when I say in Jamaica, they're going to say, oh, we have 50 of them, but they weren't at the track where I needed them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's very difficult. Yeah. So every time I tried to accomplish doing something, it was always a setback, always a setback, always a setback. That would, you know, that turned into a stigma of, oh, this guy's full of talk. Yeah, he yeah. says he's going to do this. I'm coming to the track today. I'm going to break the record today. Watch this. Or I'm going to race this person and beat them. Boom. Axel broke. I can't perform anymore. The last event in April. Remember I told you? Right. Broke the tranny. Mm -hmm. This guy, oh, he said he's going to come here and break the record. Oh, now he breaks a tranny. You know, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> I said, watch this. I'm going to be calm, quiet, and I'm just going to come there. I didn't say nothing about the event. Everybody knew I was going. Yeah. I didn't say anything. There was a guy called Kedron. He runs the 876 Streets page in Jamaica. That's like the biggest uh, motorsports coverage page. Right. He called me and he said, listen, um, we got some grudge matches going on. We want to set you up with someone. Who do you want to race? And I said, I'm not interested in racing anyone. I have one goal and one mission. I'm coming to break that front wheel drive record and I'm done. <laughs> and he was like, nah, come on, man. Come on, free up. You know, yo, I got a guy to race you. You know, it's going to be hype. And no, 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 I have no interest. Damn. I want to be the fastest front wheel drive car in Jamaica. And I did it with the second pass ever at that day, you know, at the event. Right. So done. if anybody call you on in Jamaica, you're not going to race? Of course. And I'm going to say this again. I sound like a broken record skipping. He said it last time on the last one. Any <laughs> front wheel drive car in Jamaica... You have next lane. I mean, I'm the fastest right now. I'm the king. I could use that word freely. I'm the king. I work so hard to make sure that I broke this record to be able to utilize the word king, king, king. You can't be mad. And people are going to look at me, oh, he's, he's hype. Look at how he's talking. You know, he can't be doing this. He, she's, you know, trying to shame us. No, I'm not. Yeah. I got cuts, bruises. I got, you know, I even crashed a car. I know. We, we're going to get to that. That's a whole yeah, nother, you know, to topic. To that but there's so many obstacles that i went through to be able to be in the position that i am today to say that i have the fastest front wheel drive car in the world in, in uh, jamaica i'm sorry yeah that i feel i'm able to have this tempo this sound this tone this you know stigma mm -hmm. like of this because if somebody else was in this sh in the, my shoes they would take it and run like no they would be making memes every day yeah you, right or wrong yeah. they'll be making posts and this and that and i didn't take it to that extent but Anytime I talk about this topic, I'm very, very, you know, energetic about it because it's a goal. It was a mission accomplished. Right. Right. So <laughs> he said it. I mean, I do got a question. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like for the viewers that don't know you, mm -hmm. 
would say like, why would you go to Jamaica and choose to race in Jamaica and break a record there? What about where you're from? That's what I would, yeah, that was. Good question. Yeah. I'm on a roll today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's the salmon that we yeah, ate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it, might, it might be the little, the Jack <laughs> yeah. Daniels, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's the Jack. Yeah, it's the Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All right, so. Because there's, there's, to my knowledge and what I see, the street racing world is way more bigger here than it is Jamaica. 100%. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's a but lot of with, competition here. With that here. being said, I raced here for a year straight before I shipped the car to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And I dominated the street racing with that same red car. Obviously, it's a different car from the black car I used to break the record with. But I used that same car here for a year. Is that considered street racing over there or is that considered drag racing? Which in one? Jamaica, with the black car, with, with the record. No, that's an official, like I'm talking about, you know how we have NHRA over here and uh-huh. like NASCAR and stuff? Right. Where I did that was an official official sanctioned race that's like a official meet so what would it take for you to break records in america the interest i would have to gain an interest here in order to want to do it you feel like it's more competition here though so that's what i'm saying do you think you can do it to break a record competition what's the fastest front wheel drive here in america actually everyone's doing all-wheel drive yeah all-wheel drive is big (sighs) big 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 remember you said that you was thinking about doing that in the four-door all-wheel drive yeah yeah Yeah. i have all i have all the parts They've been sitting. I remember I talked to you. This yeah. was months now I haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, I can make that all-wheel drive in three days if I wanted. Yeah. Well, what's the front-wheel drive record in America right now? Don't quote me. I want to say somewhere around 7.7. Seven. Can, I, can I search it up? Yeah, you can quick? look it up, bro. Yeah, let me look it up. Yeah, I would say 7.7. 7.7? Yeah. Seven, seven. Seven. yeah. You think that's? You think you could beat that? If we put energy and time into it, yes. Anything is accomplishable. 100%. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it'll be with ease. Right. You know, definitely not. Yeah. But we throw 100,000 at a car. We put some time and error, you know. You know, it's going to work. It right. has to. You buy five transmissions, 10 motors, this, that, that. Yeah, yeah. You have to get it right at one point. I think that most of these people who are breaking these records, I feel like if to dump that kind of money in it, I could see where the passion comes in. But I feel like there has to be some type of like purpose behind it. Like if you have a shop and you want to say, because uh, right. if not, like let's say for yourself, mm-hmm. if you just go and break that record, it's like, okay, I have the record. And I spent $100,000 to do it. Right. What are you getting out of it? Correct. Just for the title? That's true too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of one of those things where it's like, that's how I think. It's true. In my head. If I was to it's do that. It's true. You know? See, but I wasn't even thinking that way in Jamaica when I did that, you know, going for that right. thing. I was doing it more for, you know, I got to prove these people wrong. Right. Well, you went over there just to just to race people, right? With my regular street car. I think that's what escalated to it. And it kind of people were just, you know, saying things about you. And you kind of like, you know what? Let me go back there and do what I got to do that. Right. And... I don't know. You said it less than twenty thousand dollars. That's a fair amount of money to where it's like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But when you start getting into like a hundred thousand and to break American records, that's when it's like, all right, this has to make both sense and sense. Like, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. Because right. at the if he breaks the record, then what? He's a king. That's true. He's a king, but then what? You don't have a shop. To I don't s- have a a, a tuning shop, shop or in yeah, it, you know. No, I have. That's what most of these guys are doing. But that's how they get it's, their business. It's fun in the Caribbean, man. Like when yeah. you're racing, it's probably against way the beach, different. You know, yeah, yeah. you got jerk chicken. You know, guys are walking around the crowd. You know, in the in the in the uh, pits, yeah. selling you jerk chicken. Yo, yo, fresh <laughs> off the grill. I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me that. You know, it's yeah. it's different. It, the vibe, bro. After the race, you know, you're going to the beach. You're this. You're that. It's just totally different. What does it smell like in Jamaica? I'll find out tomorrow. I'm going to I'm going it to smells, Jamaica. It smells wonderful. Jamaica is like one of the best planets. Well, I, I know it's kind of weird to ask that, but like there's certain That's places that have countries. a certain smell. I want to you know? say it depends like, what part. Smells like like, fi- like wood burning, like you know what I'm saying? Oh like, no, they definitely nah. have like you have the fire smell. You what know, part like, of Jamaica are you going to? Uh, Kingston. Are oh, you going to Kingston? Yes, okay, okay. Kingston. Yeah. That's where Bebo shop is. My car stays in Kingston too. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. be in Kingston. I don't know how big. I, honestly, I don't even know how where big Jamaica staying? is. I have no idea. I okay. gotta check the email. Got you. Um, I usually bribe fly all the time for stuff i don't find out till the day before where i'm going oh okay okay so i it's been booked but i haven't checked the email because i'm got so busy you. yeah kingston um, is nice you know you got a lot of like hotels ac hotels yeah. very nice we'll stuff see like that we'll see nah, it's very nice bro i'm not gonna lie we shall see um so on this topic of your accident mm-hmm. and i saw that i don't know if it was on a saturday or something i don't know what day it was but mm-hmm. uh you had mentioned you got into a crash and right. based on the video um the first video that you put out or that i saw you the camera wasn't really the greatest Right, um, right, right. Well, so, nobody expected, you know, for the right, car to crash. Right, or, and that was actual track footage. That was the people who were filming the event. Yes. Um, but there was an angle you had from the, when you took off from the back of the car. Yep. That you can kind of see what happened, but you really can't tell exactly what happened. So can you talk about the experience? 
Well, it's a little more clear now. Okay. You know, after seeing it, reviewing cameras and all this stuff. Right. Me as a driver, all I know, at one point, I felt the car yank left. Once I felt I was going towards, you know, the grass and bush on that yeah, side, yeah. I tried to, you know, counter correct it, which turned it a little right, which went into a spin to slow down the car drastically before I went into the bushes, back into the, you know, the other side. Wow. I thought the tire blew out. Yeah. According to the coverage, you know, the, the multiple angles and all the stuff we're seeing, the tire didn't blow out. There was an actual bump at the end of the track. The car went airborne and yanked left. Oh. Holy shit. Damn. You know, so. Can you sue? It was it was can a little crazy. Can, wow! How the fuck you got a track on the bump? Trying to catch a case. I mean, <laughs> you know, and I'm not I'm not saying this, you know, against you know the 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 facility or anything like that, you know. But it's just it got to be fixed. You know what I mean? These cars are getting faster and faster and faster. Yeah. It's safety. You know, right. there's three other cars, four other cars going the same speed as me, 170 plus. You know, it's the mile an hour is serious. Yeah. So at the end, there's a little hump. If you don't go over the hump, you know, I guess at a straight angle or a certain way you tap the brakes or whatever yeah, the case yeah. is, you can lose control like I did. Did you hit the brakes as soon as, it, as, soon as you like... I didn't. The, Once I felt the car yanked to the left, I just tried to see which direction the car felt like it wanted to go. Right. It felt like it was going to go left. So I said, all right, let me turn it back right. When I turned it right, it went into a 180 spin, which was good that it slowed down the car drastically. You didn't feel like it was going to flip? How I did thought you it was feel like during yeah, it was that moment? Flip? No, no, scared, bro. My last accident I had was World Cup 2015. So that was when I hit the wall in Maryland. Damn. I, I didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I crashed Mayweather 1 <laughs> into the wall. So you, Like no damage to you? No. A roll cage, you know, had all that stuff as well. Yeah. My car has a roll cage. The, the bar actually hit my knee, my whole leg, because when I braced for impact, yeah. and when I stopped, it yanked, and my, my leg went into the bar. Yeah. Damn. And then my elbow got cut because the whole chassis of that, we used the sawzall and just cut the whole metal up. Yeah. Wow. So the edge of the doors are really, like, sharp. Yeah. So we're going to, like, grind that down, put, like, rubber around it now. Next to my race day, I will be wearing my fire jacket. You know, I will have my... I'm going to wear my stuff no matter what. This is Mayweather 2 you're talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about Mayweather 1. Did you get hurt? No. During no. an accident? Oh, no, you never got hurt. cage, hit the wall, you know. Boom, boom. <laughs> it was like a little ping pong. And yeah. yeah. Slowed down and that was it. That black car was gutted. Like, yeah. there was nothing in there. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Not a... <laughs> it no, was, was just nothing. all... Well, like all car, no no carpets, nothing. like Nothing, just nothing. It's just a couple wires, three pedals, and a steering wheel with a little shifter mechanism. It's all metal in there. That's it. Like, that's like I said, that car was built for a purpose. Yeah. You know, I wasn't trying to go to the nightclub in New Kingston. Yeah. I'm not trying to go Oak <laughs> Rios, Montego Bay pull up. You know, not a purpose. Now, do when you're doing these passes in that car, right, do your feet get hot? Because of like all the the entire the inside from, gets hot because yeah. there's no windows. I mean, right. well, the windows are like Lexan, right? So it's just like closed up. Yeah, there is no you know rolling up and down. Uh, it gets very hot in there. And remember Jamaica, the real feel is 110, and where Vernon feel is where the track is. It's yeah. like the desert, bro. Like it's like wait, Jamaica is how much? It, the real feel is about 110 to 115. Yeah, it's hot as fuck in Jamaica. The so real temperature hot. is 96. Yeah, real hot. You need a, you need a suntan lotion, all that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. What? Yeah, it's pretty hot. crazy. It's not, and it's Damn. hot. Is it humid hot? It's not hot like here. It's a different. Yeah, no, type no, of no. It's a, the sun is like right next to you. Yeah, the sun is like, like hello on I'm your like neck. Like hello, buddy. Yeah. Hey, you. I think I got like a Welcome. little a little tan <laughs> on my last trip there. You know? Yeah, <laughs> it's yo, hot, bro. Damn, hot okay. as fuck. And well, it's kind of hot in the night damn, too. Sure can't I don't know about you, you know about the night. The night is hot too. Uh, it depends. Like humid. Like if you're in the hills, like I got a couple friends that have houses in the hills. Yeah, it's actually cool. It gets down to 60 degrees up there. Oh, in the night. Remember, you're 4,000 feet that. elevated, 3,000 yeah, yeah. feet elevated. Yeah. Damn. So the temperature changes. I mean, if you're in Portmore, Portmore is like one of the hottest places in Jamaica, period. Yeah. I don't know why it's just so hot in Portmore. It's very hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even have any tank tops. We'll have to figure that out. You don't even need tank tops. No shirts. No, nah, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in shape yet. I'm uh, not in shape yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I, leave, I leave it like tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll go to uh, the store in the morning. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, this is my life. This is how it goes. Anyways, so <laughs> um, so what was the mile an hour that you did on the record breaking pass? Uh 165. 165. I want to say yeah, 165. Now, is there still room for to put the, down more power? The car will trap 170, 174. That's our guesstimate. Yeah. Okay. I would say 174 the car is gonna trap. And um I wanna say if we were to guess at full, full potential if everything was all the dots yeah. and all the you know, everything right. was perfect. Beautiful day. I say the car will go 8.7, possibly at 8.69. So 
So is there any chance that that could happen over there in Jamaica with the way the, the track is set up? It, all the conditions just have to be good. You know, we have to have good track prep. The car has to work good. Right. Boost has to be down. I have to drive the car good. You know, it's a lot of factors that will play into it. But the car, we're feeling from what we saw in that 9-1 pass, yeah. the car will go 8-6. You know, 8-69-ish, somewhere around right. there. But guaranteed 8 8 8 9 car all day long. It's now, crazy how, like, these cars perform so well in this heat. Imagine if that that's car was another like, thing, yeah. Like, nice I mean, cooler. if that, that car was here in America fuck. with the horsepower versus you know traction and all yeah. that stuff, that car would probably go eight thirties. You know, it's so drastic. So eight seventy there, eight thirty America. If we go eight sixty, it'll go eight twenty here. You know, eight one. It the car is fast, bro. What's the record for all drive? I don't fucking uh, seven, know. Seven seven. I think it's seven seven. I, I, I want to say all I kept on seeing was two thousand twenty three Honda Type R's. <laughs> 2023 Honda Type R. <laughs> yeah, I typed in. Wait, you put, typed in fastest quarter mile oh, front no. wheel drive. I, I want to say it's seven seven. Seven seven. Yeah. Okay, so if you if you could run an A three on that, so you're gonna keep the car over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I said, next event we're gonna break the record again, and I'm just gonna push the record so far away that it's like, okay, cool. You know, my job here is done. Not trying to show off. Not trying to talk. You know, everybody's gonna take this the wrong way. Yeah. What I say is what I do. So that's why I talk with so much confidence. I'm not right. saying it as far as showing off. Right. And I want this. You know, I want the podcast to understand this. Yeah. If someone was in my shoes and you're determined, dedicated, to do something, you would have this. You have to have this mindset. Look, check this out. Because if you're weak-minded, you know you can fail in between the 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 mission. Is that right? Nah. Uh, fastest quarter mile, fastest one quarter front wheel, wheel, front wheel drive car quarter mile is five. Wait, there's no way. Five. five. Ten quickest front wheel drive cars we've ever tested. Oh, this is tested. Yeah, I don't see Six that. Six second. Six seconds? Actually, you might be right. I'm talking about Hondas because I, you know, I, I follow the Honda stuff. So honestly, front wheel drive in the world, I honestly don't know because there's so many other cars. There's it's Starlets. Uh, all wheel drive, of course. Oh wait, six nine one at one ninety eight. That's the all wheel drive Honda. Yes. That's Speed Factory. Yeah. So this doesn't even count. Right. So we don't know. We gotta find. You out. might be on par with the seven because yeah. if that's front wheel drive. I know Honda Civics. Seven seven, maybe seven sixty nine, but I know that's the fastest that I know of. You know, that's that, pretty fast. No, it's 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 that's insane. Really it's insane. Car got to be making fifteen hundred horsepower, sixteen, eighteen. You know, it's crazy the horsepower. Have you ever driven a fast rear wheel drive car? No, I actually just started getting good with rear wheel drive. I was gonna say because what I like from your experience, what is the difference in terms of how it feels? Uh, it's driving? all control. It's all pedal work. Do Those you feel like cars. Yeah, you drive the shit out of the car too. Because I, I see the I shifting. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. Just yeah. be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the off the Dead clutch, ass. quick. Yep. yep. And yeah. the thing is, we haven't even turned on the strain gauge. So a strain gauge is uh, it's a shift knob that okay. works off of like your pulse. Like once you touch it, the switch turns on to cut the ignition. That way you can switch gears. That's what, what a strain gauge what is. What the fuck? I've never heard of yeah. this. Like real race cars have. Wait, this, this, say it again. You said when it touches. I didn't know it was a lat. Yeah, once you touch it, it's, it's like a five volt signal that the, 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 the shift knob cuts the timing of the car. That way you can shift the gear fast. It stops the engine, you shift, and it, it turns the engine back on. Something like that. I'm just trying to explain it that way, you know, a normal person would understand what why, it does. Why turn off the engine? I didn't even shift. know about this. You shift faster. It shifts easier. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just faster, but I never even knew it was like so that. So, you know, like a like, sequential, bah, 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 yeah. bah, it works yeah. something like that. Wow. Shit. So that's why this car, the strain gauge is not on. I'm still clutching it just to get to point A to point B. We want to make sure everything is working. I'm not killing the car yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like on that uh, record breaking pass, I was clutching the car. Flat shit, you know, flat foot. Yeah. Pow, pow, pow. So think about it. If we turn the strain on, we can shift the car even faster than what I did. So if right. a 919 pass, if we're under strain, car is hooking, everything was nice, car would have probably went 913. Wait, hold on. So you just said you flat foot? Like, flat foot, never just, lift. Why do you yeah. need to use a clutch then? Can't you just, you know what I'm saying? You could, yes. Okay. You can. Because would that cut some time? 100%. But it's more, it's more harmful like it's more we're learning we're seeing where the shift points are so okay. when we get back the data log we see okay cool so we can do ignition cuts from this time to this time because you have to learn where the car is and then you can you know progress yeah you can guess but what, what's the point you know we know what we were um what like aiming to do right wasn't hard 
You know, and I'm not saying yeah. that it's not, oh my God, you know, I'm not showing off or nothing, but we just knew because we've been doing this so long. Right. So if this was the goal, cool. We'll get it done like this. Now let's push it further, which we'll, we're going to be doing the next, next outing. When is that? October 2nd through 5th. Yeah, I might have to. Damn, October 2nd. That's too soon though, bro. I won't even be. I'll be in Gatlinburg. I'll be coming back. I'll Gatlinburg. be a Minty washing some cars. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I got. You guys I gotta, need gotta, detailing. Got to come to Minty detailing. Facts, facts, facts. Google Minty. Facts, facts, facts. Detailing. detailing you know, paint correction, ceramic coat, powder coating, <laughs> yeah, yeah. tints. Everything. Ceramic <laughs> tints. <laughs> come on, man. Word. Yo, that's a fact. Um, so damn, bro. I didn't even know that. There's like a whole different science to this when it comes to like actually breaking records because I didn't even know that was even a thing where you just flat foot like. Yeah, I've heard of the terminology, but yeah, flat shift. Um, you never lift. Even like I, we didn't really get a full, uh, like my full inf info on the build. You know, remember like we kind of cut a little yeah. bit. So I didn't know if you wanted to talk about. It. I asked no, you like I really twice. Don't, like, <laughs> I really don't care. No, I really <laughs> okay. don't care. But I'm gonna so tell what's, everyone. What is it? Is it a? Is it? It's a K twenty. It's a K twenty. Right. CSS motors, not even sleeved. Okay. So people that are watching this still are gonna understand. You know, it's not a fully like billet block. You know. There's a limitation to horsepower to my CSS block. Okay. Um, pistons, rods. I have a stock head. It's a stock port head. I have springs retainers with Skunk 2, Tuner 2 cams, shelf you know, cams. Go to any store and buy them. Throw them in. Okay. That's it. Built by Spoon in Jamaica. What compression are you running? 10-1. They're flat top. So whatever tops, that okay. comes with. I think 10-1. 10-1. Shelf piston. <laughs> I mean, bro... My intake what? manifold, and I always laugh at this, everybody. My intake manifold is stock. I have a stock intake manifold. You know the throttle body? Yeah. It says Honda. Factory. I don't know. I feel like. I will show. Bro, I'm going to take a video. Not, e not even that. I just feel like, like you're making it seem like Jamaica just need to step it up. You did I wouldn't shit. say that they you need to it step one, it up. You did it one, two, three, and <laughs> with no effort. Like It sounds like even to me, like Jamaica, what, what are y'all doing? I mean, they, shout out to Grizzly. You know, Grizzly's the guy right behind me. Yeah. Um, he broke the national record that was holding from Xavier Murray before. You know, he broke it the same day as me, actually. So he went 929, I think. Mm, okay. I went 919. So I still went faster than him, but he broke the record that was standing from 2017 as well. So that's a big accomplishment. Me and him is very cool. Very cool guy. And I mean, on media, people are like, oh, we bump heads or whatever the case is. But very cool guy. He's the second fastest uh, Honda in Jamaica. Yeah. Front wheel drive as well. Okay. But, um, I mean, his car got everything in it. You know, everything. That car has a lot of nice parts. Very nice car. Better than what you have. Absolutely. Okay. So, you, do you feel faster. like people are going to believe that your car has this stuff? Like, I can't fake it. I open my, my bonnet. Can't say hood. America, we use hood. But, you know, Jamaica yeah, bonnet. Yeah. I open the bonnet and you can see it. I mean, the manifold. Like I said, the throttle body says Honda. It's stock. You can't fake a throttle body. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. I think maybe, so what do you think it is that, that is making this car run the way it is? Tune? Tuning has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Chassis work has a lot to do with it. The way a chassis is set up yeah. is major, 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 major. Hmm. So it's not really the parts. You want that chassis to function a certain way. So you want, you do things to make that chassis work the way you want it to work. Right tuning you know the strategy of how you're you know playing with ignition playing with yeah. you know traction control playing with power management stuff like that shout out to jamie you know jamie marsh this guy is like einstein he is i can't everybody's gonna fight the word but i feel he's one of the best in the entire industry in Wait, terms of, what, in what, jamaica? Kind of what kind of what hondas hondas you know hondas he, he lives in jamaica no he lives here okay. in uh connecticut okay oh wow yeah so he, he tunes he tunes, yep. Okay. Tunes, he builds his own engines, he races himself, drives himself. He did anything that pertains to a Honda, he does. So all your cars, everything, even this four-door that you have, he tunes, he messes, he yeah. does everything. He tunes them for me, yeah. What's up with the four-door? Four-door is just chilling. Just sitting. It's my street car. You're not trying to race it out here? That's what I'm saying. I've been I telling mean, him, like, yo, I, bring, I bring out the four-door, yeah, bro. Let me, see, let me see something. I might, I might. It's a little B16. So this is another thing. I'm glad we're on, you know, the, the, the podcast with this is... The car is very basic, bro. Like the car makes under or about 500 horsepower. So if someone is coming with a 900 horsepower car, it's like, bro, I need a spot. And I know in the other uh, podcast, remember I said, oh, I feel front wheel drive cars, no matter they should sit together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Heads up. Heads up. Remember right. I said that. 
But if you're bringing a 1,200 horsepower, 900 horsepower, 800 horsepower, right? you feel what I'm saying? It's like, I don't think they should race. If they're supposed to race heads up, they don't sit. They don't sit the same. Front wheel drive or any any any. Uh, well, I mean, any car. If you're making 900, and this car is making 300. I don't yeah. care what it is. All wheel drive, rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, bro. It's kind of senseless. Right, right. You just got to get that all wheel drive and just up the boost on that one. That's what it sounds like. The all wheel drive. Yeah. yeah. I'm get gonna do all wheel drive soon. You know, but it God, takes away the fun. I've been saying that since last year. I bought the parts last year. Yeah. So I, I did 50% when he, when he, of the work. When he bought it, he brought it here. We cleaned it up. Yep. We do all-wheel drive and build the motor. On the four-door. I was waiting to see the all-wheel drive and build and all of that. Yeah, he did the car. He yeah. did it. I drove it when it was stock. Yeah. It felt oh, yeah, quick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, on the stock? Yeah. When it was stock. Felt kind of quick. Well, actually, no. It was a stock K-Series. Remember, I took that out. Oh, yeah, And I yeah, put yeah, that yeah. set up in the car that's an Antigua, the red yeah, car. Yeah. And I put a B-Series back in this car now. That's when I put the B-16 back in. I where, put you, where are you getting retainers? these motors from? It's Honda, bro. You Honda. Get it well, I mean, so back around. in the day, it was like B, uh, B20 VTEC. Is B20 VTEC still a thing? Not really. No? Those blocks are very weak. No, no, not, not B20. Well, actually, we'll talk about that too. The mm -hmm. actual B20. I mean, the forums. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's Everything's right. Instagram, you know, pretty much. Yeah. Facebook, a couple, couple groups. Do you, do you get a lot of motors from anything from like JDM stuff? JDM, yeah. JDM market? No? Mm -mm. So you just... So you don't really... Do you have an inspection process for like when you buy these motors or you just don't care because you're going to rebuild them anyways pretty much we rebuild everything but i let barney do everything so barney built is the one that does all my cars pretty much right. here in america right he does all the work so you wait you have a b20 in there b16 b6 but you said something about b20 vtech i remember it was on a live or something you mentioned something about a b20 vtech no actually it was when you were at the gas station when you had the four door and it was like fourth mm -hmm. of july or something like that and you mentioned something about b20 vtechs not being good with boost Oh, yeah, they don't hold the boost. They don't hold the boost. Yeah, they don't hold the, the sleeves are just very weak. So, it, well, that's if you have a B20 bottom and, Block. and then head. Right. B16 head or a GSR head. Right. right. So, but people don't normally turbo those, right? Very rare, but sometimes they do. And why would they, why would they even do that, though? That's all they have to work with. I mean. Interesting. If that's all I have, you know, it's like in Jamaica, they work, they make everything work. You know, I applaud them. Everyone in Jamaica, I applaud. Yeah. In the automotive like field, motorsports, I, I, you have my applause. They make what they have work for them. I think that's why um, there's a big difference between somebody who's like more technical with stuff, right, and is good with numbers and like you know like scientific with everything, as opposed to somebody who's like you know master mechanic who's like correct gone, gone through it experience wise, um, has tried tons of hondas motors swaps all these things like i feel like jamaica you probably really get you probably get some good people out there who can really make a car go fast 100 percent. Sure. like i said my car yeah. was built in jamaica my yeah. engine was assembled in jamaica i don't have a four piston engine i don't have a you know rammy build i don't have a jbr yeah you know these are big reputable world breaking world record breaking companies here in america yeah that's the real deal, you know? Like, my car in Jamaica is built by Spoon. So if you had, let's say, what you probably do, but let's say if you had a quarter million dollars, right? It's mm -hmm. 250, right? Yep. What would you build with that amount of money? Honda. What, what Honda motor would you build? I don't know. I don't think I would build a car of that price, but you're saying if... Well, if you need to, if you need to be the fastest, you know what I'm saying? If you want to break a record. Like right. the sure, world record. The world record. Like, well, what's, what's the fastest? What's that guy name? All wheel drive. What's his name? Uh, Speed Factory. If you're yeah. trying to knock him out of the because of it the would dust. have to be an all wheel drive Civic. It would, yeah, those are expensive. But what yeah, what I motor mean, would you? Would K series, B series. I would go K series. I love K series. You know, B series is proven. Like I said, they're the fastest in the world. But why you do know? you love K series more than B series? It's just I don't know. I really I don't know. And I have both cars. My four doors B series. Yeah. You know what I mean. I have any, both. Any difference in how how they feel power wise? Oh, or? K series just feels like mayhem. Like when a K series comes on, it's just because they make more torque. Remember, right, it's a bigger right. motor. Yeah, yeah. So if you got a two point four liter versus a one point six, you know you can't. There's no. You know you're feeling a difference immediately. Even in compression, you know the bore is even bigger. So I have like an eighty one millimeter. I think I have in the in my four door. Yeah. My, uh, what do you call motor? My, the one in Jamaica yeah. is 87 millimeter, I think. 86 and a half or 80? 87 mil or whatever. So you're six millimeters bigger just right. by the piston. Yeah. It's more, definitely <laughs> you more know what I'm saying? 100%. That makes That's sense. That's huge. 
That makes sense. Especially with power. Have you ever built the B18? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a difference between the two? You said 1.6, but... Yeah, so a B18, normally they bore it uh, 84 millimeter, which is a 2.0 liter, right. which is still 4 liters smaller. I'm sorry, 0.4 liters smaller than a casery stock that you yeah. can bore more than that. Yeah. Then you start going into stroker motors, you know, cranks and stuff like that, mm. rod lengths and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that's why, like I said, I think F-Series is where it's at. I'm sorry. Just got to... Nah, I ain't putting no F series. I'm an F series. I'm an F series. I ain't putting no F series. I'm an F two thousand guy, but I, I wouldn't agree on that. Why not, bro? Everything that's fast is K series. From what the, I know, the record, I'm, I'm the record right now for for S two thousand is like a six, 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 seven, six, seven. That's, that's fast. Six, seven on S two thousand. S two thousand, world's fastest. Yeah, but that car's also rear wheel drive. Yeah, but that's that's the beauty of it. Well, you don't even you don't you're, you're getting into yeah, a uh, real yeah, drive, right? Just yeah, since it. I got into the G80s and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I'm really like getting a grip of it. Like I can. Uh, how you feel about it? No, like, I love it. I love yeah. it. Rear wheel drive is wicked, bro. Wicked. That's wicked. what I'm saying. Wicked. That's, that's wicked. Wicked. It's not. It's not yeah, about not, the, not the not you, the race. You, you got to be a driver yeah. to be behind of a wheel of a rear wheel drive car. Yeah. I don't care what no one tells me. There's no luck. There's no you know. Hey, I'm gonna try and make this work. You have to know what you're doing. Yeah. It's either you know what you're doing or you don't. Facts. And I, I'm learning that because I got a couple of close calls. I'm in a G80, a $100,000 car. I'm giving away. You know what I mean? I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa okay. Yeah. I learned that. Don't do that. You know, <laughs> a couple of close calls, man. Yeah. Sidewalks, Damn. you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I got real clo you know, close calls, but I'm, I got over that stage now. I can drive it, put it where I want it, drift it, slow it up, speed it up, yeah, slow I'm, it down. I'm I mean, kind I of familiar say. with the rear, rear wheel drive is mad fun. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. going straight, though. This is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But drifting is drifting probably is wicked, really yeah. fun. Or even like uh what's the other motorsports? Um uh Takeover? No, 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 like in the oh, Caribbean. I was about to um say. Oh my god. We have drag racing and you have not rally. What's when you're going around in, in circles? NASCAR shit? Nah man. When you have when you're doing like motocross, like when you're yeah, going Yeah, yeah, but that's not circle that's like Yeah, S like eight like figure eights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they got that in Jamaica? Yeah, big. That's probably like the biggest sport out there. Really? Yeah. With Hondas. All any, racing. Any like Jamaica is known for that. Like, like I never knew that. I, I'm Jamaican. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, so you got it. People, I hope people know you're Jamaican because. Bullet. <laughs> yeah, because you over here starting some shit up and saying. Oh, yeah, I hope. You gotta step listen, it up. people from my country, you know, just got to step it up. This nigga from New York just <laughs> coming in there just. Doing whatever he wanted in two weeks and coming back home with trophies. Right, well, and no, titles. I, didn't get, I didn't get a trophy for that. You know, well, not a physical trophy, but you know what I'm saying. Right, I hold the national record in Jamaica for the fastest. So all my people, because I know some people from Jamaica is probably going to be watching this. Yep, y'all got to step it up. Got to yeah. step it up. This is another thing too. We'll put this on the podcast. So I always say this: that competition brings good racing. Which I agree. Because if you're not chasing after a guy that's, you know, doing something, yeah. it gets boring. Like, what are we going to do? Every time we go to the track, we're going to keep going 10 seconds? You know what I mean? And I think since I've entered the Jamaica motorsports of drag racing over there, everyone stepped their game up. I mean, you got guys that were running 13s now in the 11s. The guys that were in the 11s are now running 10-0. You know, guys that were running 10 is now going deep nines, nine fives, nine fours. And this is over a matter of two years of me being there or a year and a half because I am there. And, you know, I'm not going to hold back and say that everyone that's watching this and everyone that's in motorsports in Jamaica can agree with what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't care to get the credit, but I want it to be known on what changed, you know, the like diverse, the seriousness in Jamaica motorsports. It's not a game anymore. You got a guy that's coming here really doing the do, so it's like, okay, cool. What can I do to step my game up? And right. it's only making them go faster. You know? So it's yeah, like... That makes sense. Anywhere I go, I do that. I'm not going places to show off. I have no interest. I don't care. I, fi I figure out, hey, uh, I'm racing in just, uh, let's say, St. Kitts and Nevis. That's another island I'm going to. I'm going to St. Kitts next month, September 18th. I'll be racing in that island. Okay. So... Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Find out who the big guy is there. Find out this, the president, minister of sports, blah, 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 blah. What's the fastest time here? What's your record? Okay, cool. I want to break that. <laughs> I, I, I'm not doing nothing wrong. 
You know what I'm saying? But everybody's going to target me. Oh, yo, this, that, yo, he's hype. Why is he doing this? Why? There's a record there. Records are meant to be broken. No? Nah, records are meant to be broken. You're right. You know, you know, from like being in the country, people could, is going to look at it like, yo, who is this guy? He's coming from not where he's, he wasn't born here. Why, why correct, do you feel like you correct, can just correct. come here and but come you, break a record? You want to know something funny, though, is that the, the public... Like, you know, the actual spectators, the fans, the people that are witnessing this, not the people that are racing with me, not the competitors, the other people that absorb this sport, bro, they love it. Yeah. When I'm there, yo, they love me. Like, it's everywhere I go, let me take a picture. Yo, can I get a handshake? Can I this? Can I that? Yo, it's crazy the love I get in all of these islands. So you like Ricky Bobby out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the Ricky Bobby at a race wheel. Bro, oh. I'm telling you, it's like I'm like a Michael Andretti out there, like... Serious, like some, they, everyone wants a picture. They want to talk to me. They this, they that. They want to take a picture of the car because they're like, wow, I met him, you know? So that's why I kind of embrace the good with the bad. You got to take it. Yeah. You know, and the bad, not saying the bad, but the bashing comes from the people that are in the same, you know, sport, like in the same league. Right. We're competing. So I would feel the same way. The only thing is that my personality is different. I want to know who the big dude is. Cool. Right. You're the big man. All right. I want to race you. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of confidence. I think, I think, it's my opinion. I feel like people want to see you do that in America. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I got to find I know, I interest get it. here. Though. I get it. And I just explained you know? why it doesn't make sense. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. It's like, yo, you coming over here doing that to our country, but you can't even do it on your own. Yeah. Makes sense. That's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what I think the mindset would be. No, you're 100% right. Yeah. But you know? then it has to be within the person if he wants to do it. I feel for me to do that here... You know, what do I really benefit? I don't really benefit nothing over there either. But when I'm there, I ain't, I have a hell of a good time. Yeah. yeah. That's the difference. So let's say you're going to vacation, right? Everybody, let's just say everybody watching the podcast, somebody watching this today, they're going to uh, Guyana tomorrow, right? For vacation. Yeah. Cool. While you're going to vacation and do all that, I'll be there racing, doing something I love and vacationing. <laughs> Which one is better? True. That's, That's the way fact. I look at it. But I feel like you're very competitive. That's just me in a hole, though. Yeah, but. That's like, <laughs> you, you, don't say, feel yeah, like, you say, yeah, but. You don't feel like there's a lot more com competition out here? <sighs> but I did it, though. I was a street racer here. Yeah. And I did yeah, it. Yeah, you was, you was, you was. You know, like, I did it for so many years. You know, the track was never me. Yeah. So I brought the same street vibes to the Caribbean. But some places, they don't street race. Like Jamaica, I tried the street race thing. It didn't work. Nobody would leave their job on a Wednesday to go race. Meanwhile, us, we're in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Yo, how much boom, boom, pot is up? We racing. They don't do that over there. So I had the same mentality, which I brought there, but it didn't work. So then I said, all right, cool. The next step is let me go to where they race, which is the track. So to dominate the track, you have to beat the fastest time. Yeah, yeah. That's how that went, you know? But if I wanted to do it here, not saying it's going to be easy, but can I do it? Of course. It, it's... Not impossible. You know, I'm not saying it's not easy. Right. Very hard. Don't get me wrong. It's not impossible, though. Yeah. So we throw 150,000. Cool. Boom. What else we need? Another 50,000? Let's go 200,000. At some point, we got to break a record. Would you say that would be a goal for you here? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I saw that too. I Two, think $200,000 here in America, right? Yeah. Bro, it's four or five houses for me. True. Of income of 5,000 each. Give you guys a little science here. So if we got five houses at 5,000 income each, how much is that? $25,000, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. After the 30 years, after those houses are paid off with that same $200,000 we were going to invest in a race car that can blow up starting it up, right? We got, how much is that? Uh, 30 years. So you got $25,000 on income. Yeah. So when I'm just throwing a number, when I'm 60 years old, I have an income of $25,000 and I'm doing nothing. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. So you know, at that level of racing, the game bite me. I don't think, uh, you know, unless you're in a shop or you're making that kind of money yeah. back, that's crazy bread, man. Can I yeah. do it? Of course I can. Four hundred thousand, and I'm not saying this to sound, you know, like mimicking or mocking anyone. Right. I can throw half a million dollars tomorrow. Seriously speaking, five hundred thousand dollars at a race car tomorrow. But then what? Yeah, it's not going to make you no it's money, no enjoyment. I'm a businessman. I'm an investor. You understand what I'm saying? So for me, I don't think for me it works. Yeah. 
So that's I why agree. I wouldn't do it. But if I can throw 15, 20,000 somewhere, have fun, enjoy myself over there. We're, you know, racing, I'm vacationing, we're on the beach, we're going here, we're clubbing. It's what I like to do. You yeah. know, it's just, it's kind of like my decision. You well, know, I, feel you. I, feel well, you. I mean, what do you guys think? If, nah, if I, I just said, I explained that earlier. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I agree. It doesn't make sense. You know, like, so anyone that talk. watches this and say, oh, he has all this talk going over there, you know, it's, it didn't, I didn't go there on those intentions. I went there and said, yo, any front wheel drive car, I want to race you. Street race style. I went with a, a complete chassis car. And my red car was a street car. Yeah. Power windows, power door locks, radio, heat. I didn't come there with a killer. I came there with a car less than anybody else had there. Yeah. The horsepower wasn't crazy. We weren't making 11, 12, 1300. You know, so we're just following the, the current events. Yeah. So I don't want anybody to like just take this in the wrong way. Oh, he's doing this over there and he won't do it here. Can I do it here? Absolutely, I can. You People know, in the comments going to be like, let me see that nigga. <laughs> nah, so what, hap <laughs> what, ha what happens is like when I, when I post the clips, yeah. There's people who that's when the real people come out and they start saying stuff like, oh, come to this, come to Texas, come to Cali, come oh. to here. So, you know, and that happens with not only you, it's just every, everybody. Right, you know, right, when, right. When somebody says they have the fastest car in New York. Yeah. It's always like, oh, yeah, you haven't been to Texas yet. Oh, you haven't been to here. You haven't been to there. So it's like um, I will be hitting those cities in, in the future. Right. Um, but when it comes to New York, people have this this uh this sort of. I don't want to say arrogance. Mm -hmm. Most people take it as that. Yeah. If like people who live in New York just only have New York in their head and they don't live anywhere. They don't have anywhere else that, like in their head. Like it's just like New York is the world for them. You right, know? right, right. So um, I think that's where most of the comments come from. Yeah. People hating. Gotcha. And um, I can agree. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm the same way. I, I feel like, you know, yes, you have the fastest car in Jamaica on paper. Of course. Front wheel drive. We got to make Front sure we drive. say that because yes. they're going to say this, say that, right. you know. I think it's... I think for you, it's official that you definitely do now. Right. But when people say they have the fastest car in New York, it's kind of hard to say that unless you have people. slips. Yeah. Correct. You, know, you need to have time slips to say you're the fastest car. Yeah. You can't really say street racing wise that you're the fastest. Car. I feel this is how I feel. It's my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if you're racing people in the street, I don't feel like you could say you're, you're the fastest yeah, car. You got to right. prove them numbers. You got to have you got to have slips. And that's what it is. I mean, when you got the statistics. I mean. You know, I only yeah. lost twice. Yeah. I'm not discrediting anything here. you're yeah. doing. I'm just saying. No, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I, yeah. I only lost two times with my red car here. Yeah. And one time when I lost, the laptop wire got caught in my shifter and I missed gear. Yeah. 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 So that's why We've I lost that, yeah. that race. It wasn't because I was underpowered. I was way out ahead of him. First gear, half a car. Second gear, two cars. Remember, yeah. third and fourth where the boost come in, it's only going to pull further away. Yeah. Right. It's an all, all motor car I'm racing. Yeah. So I said, no problem. Missed gear, laptop wire. I even my screen was broken. I even showed it of what really happened. And um, I said, cool. Let's run it right back. Triple, quadruple. Let, let's race it right back. No, 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 no. Not tonight. No. Cool. So you just <laughs> answered my question. Why won't you race it back? Remember, I told you if I beat someone, or if someone beats me, or whatever the case, yeah. vice versa, I will race you over and over and over. It's right back. You want to race again? Let's go again. They don't do that nowadays, though. Yeah, yeah I they, would. They take the W and go home. Right. That's, that's the difference. Yeah. I would race over immediately. I know I can beat you again. Why yeah. wouldn't I want to take the money again? You know, somebody mentioned, uh, oh, it was GSF, Hector. Mm -hmm. He mentioned like, you know, on the podcast that like if the old heads have an issue with something and they're complaining about what the younger generation is doing, then bring your car out. I'm not saying you're an old head. Right. But you, you go by that old school mentality still. Right. And it clearly doesn't work because even when you bring your car out as an old head, so to speak, or OG, I should yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People still don't, they don't vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? They right. don't want to run it back if they lose. Correct. You know, they, take, they take the W and they're not trying to hear nothing else. Yep. It don't even matter if it's from because a technicality. They want, that, they want the, the, the talk. Yeah, be him. Yeah. So it's, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just a time. That's just life. I feel like it's not going to change. And it's just the time we're in right now mm -hmm. is, that's just what it is. The younger generation, just they don't, everything is all social media. They don't want to take an L. Yeah. Um, I, I think it has to do with value also. Like they don't really understand like certain things. It's just racing though. You know what I mean? Look at what I went through with the whole of Jamaica. Yeah. I mean, bro, I went through some real hard times, blowing engines, you know, breaking axles, not getting parts. And remember, it's costly. Every time we go to Jamaica, plane tickets, a thousand round trip. Yeah. You know, thank God I stay at Bebo's house. You know, if I was paying hotels, that would be 1500, 2000 for the hotel stay. Mm -hmm. We got rental cars. We got food. We got, you know, it's so expensive. Bro, some people were like, yo, he's doing an act. He just came here just to act like he broke an axle just to get the hype. 
I said, so you, I just paid three, four thousand dollars in a weekend worth of expenses for hype. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> when I was asking everybody in their mother, yo, can I please get an axle? Yeah. No one would give me an axle. So like I said, the reason I say, you know what? I'm done with everybody, everything. I'm just going to break the record. And that's that silence everything. There's no one can say anything now. What can you say? The record was held since 2017 up until two weeks ago, which is 2023. Yeah. My first full pass, boom, broke the record. Well, I mean. I need a good song for the clips. Jamaica, Jamaica. Yeah. What, what's, yeah. what, uh, boop, what song boop, is that? Boop, boop. Oh. <laughs> See, it's funny. I used to go to uh, cookouts and I used to hear Jamaican music. Well, I'm not Jamaican, but um, I am black. But, you know, I used to, they used to have Jamaican music playing at the cookouts. And I have these songs on my head. I don't. I never knew the names of them growing up. But you knew them. We can. Yeah. We can. We can. We can find some good ones for this clip. Yeah, I, I haven't been up to speed on um, any type of Jamaican, no, Jamaican music. music. Wicked. Jamaican bro. music yeah. definitely changed now, though. Well, I'm talking oh, about like, back in the days. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about like early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, like yeah when yeah. I was younger. Yeah, changed. That's like OD. 2002. Right Would you say that? He looking to break any records in any other countries right now? Because I what know. What happened to Antigua? Yeah. Antigua. So. Uh, we we oh, tried Antigua. Antigua. Yeah, Antigua. Yeah, Antigua. Yeah. Antigua. Yeah. Sorry, I said Antigua. <laughs> so we're number two. <laughs> we're number two in uh, Antigua right now for in terms the of time? fastest front wheel drive. Yeah. So you're gonna the bring the black shit out there? I mean, no, no. The red car will shit. do it. The red car that's there will do it. Oh, it's gonna It'll be the red. Yeah. So we have the highest horsepower car there, front wheel drive on the island. Mm -hmm. We made uh, just under 1,100 horsepower. So it's the you know most horsepower. We have the fastest eighth mile time. Eighth mile is the first half of a quarter mile pass. So we have the fast. No, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny when you bring giving it, it to everyone on, on yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that was, right? Nah. He, yeah, he didn't, he didn't even know. You didn't See? know that? Hell no. no. Bro, I don't race. Damn. I don't know nothing okay. about racing. So we just, have the record that. for that. No. That's the fastest. We went 5 9 to the eighth. Yeah. So we have the fastest car that goes half of the track. And then um, we went 9 2. The fastest car there is 9 1. So it's like 0. 0.72. Yeah. So it's 0, 0, 0, no, 0, 0, 7, 2 or whatever it is. <laughs> you lost me at the zero. When you said zero zero seven, yeah, I was like, I "Wait, what?" Zero seven two. So it's point zero seven two. Okay. Uh, that's what we are away from the front wheel drive record. There. Got you. Okay. We tried it three times, um, just trying to go back, going back, going back, trying to get the record done. When we were going, we're testing tunes. Right. So it's just us and maybe four of the cars, eight, twelve of the other cars. Yeah, yeah. There was no prep. There was no you know track bite VHT. There was nothing down for us to do what we were trying to do. The other car that did it, did it at an official event, which is one of their biggest events, which is Legendary Drags, that's down in November. So this was a full event. They had massive prep down. You know, they were able to do it. The conditions right, were different. Right. So, you know, not making excuses, not saying none of that. We never had the opportunity under those conditions. We will this year. So at November, we will be at Legendary Drags, which is the same event where he did it last year. Okay. We'll be there this year under the same conditions, which, you know, shouldn't be a problem. November, November. Okay, there's a lot happening in this uh, in this so-called well, in those months it's usually off season. Yep. For car shows, but I think there's still track stuff it's going all on. Probably that's all year round. Yeah. Well, the last big no, track event in America is uh, World Cup, which is in November. Yeah. First so November. week of November. Yeah. But car shows are usually done by October, I think. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, because they have like in the Caribbean. No, out here, just out oh, here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just, oh, no, just in general. Just in general. Oh, yo, bro, yeah, we're racing in December. All year round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In December, we're racing in 90 degree weather. Right, but I'm saying what well, we're used to here. Yeah. So it's like you know, in those seasons, it's like you can go other other countries and and really, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. do some car stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. So hopefully, in in that time, I don't know where where I'll be at in terms of this podcast and everything. So I hope to travel, man, because I want to be at those events. Oh, it's massive, bro. You know, massive. I definitely be massive. at those events. Yeah. And um, I know race motive. You don't do race motive, right? No. You ever have any intentions to? Not really. You don't want to break any speed records or anything like that? Never put thought to it. Hmm. Yeah, that's where all the, the top guys now, at least in, in this area, are going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would ask you what's next, but you kind of don't... I don't know. You just seem like... You we don't even know. Yeah. I would ask you that, and then next thing you know, like next month, you're like, yo, I'm in, I'm in Ghana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in Ghana. I'm about to break the record in Ghana. <laughs> like... Damn, yeah. all right, bro. Yeah. Like, all this stuff is so I random. Know. It's like, damn, he's in Jamaica now? He's racing a car? Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, well, the next thing, I'm definitely, I'm going to go eights in, uh, in Jamaica. Eights? Yeah. yeah. 
So you just want to set the record a little bit higher. Right. So um, I won't say I'll be the first because I know Grizzly, which is the other guy that's in Jamaica, the second fastest car. He uh, He's the same goal like me. Everybody's trying to you know race the eights. Um, honestly, I would rather be the second person to go eights. So I have, it's a, it'll, I think it'll have a different effect. Yeah. So if Grizzly goes eight, so oh, whoa, yo, yo, crazy, yo, congratulations, I'll call him, yo, bro, congrats, everything, you know, all of the above. Big accomplishment, front wheel drive car in Jamaica to go eight, yeah. massive. But when you go eight, nine, and then you see a car just comes around, roof, you know, eight, 79, it's like, whoa, that's the effect I want. Yeah. As opposed to just going there, or, you know, off, I know off the trail, it's going to go eight. So, you know, soon, bro, my first pass is going to go eight. But if it, if he goes before me and then I can just come in after that, it's kind of like the sport, you know, give, yeah. take, give, take, give, right, take. Yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah. I just go in there, just go eight. Just, uh, like Tom and Jerry. Right. Exactly. So if you're like, if you're fighting for those numbers. Yep. What do you turn up the boost? Like it's all just different factors. Remember, like when we go back out, it might be hotter, could be colder. Um, you know, track prep could be more, could be less, you know. So it's kind of like the first pass that you do. We'll kind of figure out what we got to do, and then you make your adjustments, and then you go from there. Interesting, because I, 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 I always wonder why, like people, at those speeds or those numbers, mm -hmm. like just bump it up a little bit. Then what? Like, is it? Does it? Other factors that go into it, like traction and yeah, traction is major. So it's not always obviously boost and horsepower, right? Like, it's power management, traction. You know, tire pressure plays a big factor. Yeah, you know. So everything you know, has to be. Yeah, that on the day money. was the highest tire pressure we've ever ran. You know, what were you? What were you at? I think it was over ten. Ten psi. Yeah, I mean, everyone normally runs five, six. You know what I mean? It's just sometimes seven. It, it's just it was weird. It was weird, bro. Why yeah. is it that you have low psi? What does that do? Like low psi catch tractions. Right. Oh, okay. The lower the tire pressure is, the more I guess grip, because you know it's actually gripping more. Yeah. So if you have like it's like. If you have a 670 psi in a tire, it's just gonna spin because it's, it's just yeah. gonna. It's there's it's harder. No, it's probably it's probably uh, harder too to. Well, yeah, like, that's it. That's there's what, no that's cushion. What I was gonna say. Yeah. You know, it's just like how do you explain that? I don't even know how you explain that. Like if it's if it's low psi, you have more. You're more gripping the ground more because there's more pr tire on the floor okay. as opposed to like okay, having okay. it fully inflated. Yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Um, I understand. So I learned my lesson with that because me and my girl drove down to Florida last year, and. Um, I was I did some road racing down there. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because I never really talked about that. And I know Hector asked me, he's like, "Yo, have, have you ever raced before?" And I'm like, "Yeah, back in the day." And then I'm like, "I actually drove my car down to Florida. I did some four or five shit." Yeah, I drove my <laughs> shit down to Florida. Yeah. Me and my girl drove my Supra all the way down to Florida. Yeah, twenty three hour drive. And that same night I got there, I think on oh, the, ne the next night I ran I ran the car. Did some road racing out there. How did that go? Um, it it was all right. I got smoked by a three forty. That's when I learned that people car guys like to lie about their shit. Yeah. Because, you know, he was like, oh, it's just a stock, just a downpipe in yep. tune. Yeah. Yep, downpipe yep, tune. Yep. I'm like, oh, I got the same <laughs> shit. I'm OTS. And I, me, I didn't really know. I'm honest. And I didn't know you had to be honest. Nah, you got a cap. No, I mean, I didn't know you had the cap. Right. So I went down there and I, um, I got smoked by 340. And I realized <laughs> he was lying. And then I raced a Supra. He was That's also crazy. lying, saying he was on JB4. But who knows? It could have been because I had the wrong e-mix in my car. Um, I was guessing it, like how you would do back in the day but mm -hmm. that's probably not a good idea um a car's running like shit so maybe he was right maybe he did have a jb4 plus in his car and whatever but i beat the supra i had issues getting into gear and because when they when they roll race one two on three they're out yeah you can't like yeah, one yeah, two three yeah. and then go no it's waiting. like yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. it's a wrap mm -hmm. so um i know roll racing is like not a people don't really like roll racing but that's what they do down there they don't race from digs in florida but i did that I did my four or five shit. I drove my super down to Florida and I raced this shit. You didn't send the records though. No, I ain't send no records. <laughs> we, we working on that though. We working on that. <laughs> we got to go down there and set some records. So yeah, I did it. I did it. And I'm going to go back soon too. Not with the super though. Because that was the worst drive ever. Yeah, never, I, ever I, drive yeah. down. Yeah, I would never do that. In this car with those seats. Mm -hmm. I would never do that in any ever. car. You any ever want to go to different states? I did. Where'd you go? Florida. I raced in Florida. How did that go? Uh, actually lost. Really? Yeah. To what? Uh, Roll racing or from a dig? No, no, from a dig. H how bad did you lose? Uh, half a car, a car. There was just no traction. And the way the race was set up is that you don't know where you're racing. You never race. You can't even get a test pass. 
So that was, I was like. Were you at the Everglades? No, this was in Orlando. Were we in, oh, we were in Miami. Yeah, yeah, no, no, so it was different. No, it's, it's fine if you get one test hit or two, t- like you got to know what you're under. It's like you were just set up for failure. Yeah. Imagine I hold an event. No one knows nothing. Just come here, you know, and you guys race, <laughs> bro. That's what I did. Yeah, same thing. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I say it's not worth my time. Like this, it's pretty much set up for you to look like a fool. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like it's, it, it makes it seem <laughs> like, no, no, but it really, yeah. it makes it seem like you don't know what yeah, you're doing. I, that's yeah. exactly how I felt. I feel like I didn't know what I was doing. And I had it on camera too. Oh my God. I'm yeah. coming back, Florida. I'm coming back. When is that? I'm coming back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a comeback. I just got some three piece wheels. So yeah. we might have to postpone wanna, it like two years. I want to actually get like even talking about this. I want to get into the whole boost world. That's we got to get you a do. car. We got to. Nah, you you should. I, you always build a Civic, for. man. Build a nah, Civic. I don't want no man. Civic. Build the S2000, bro. Nah, S2000 nah, I don't even build it. It's expensive. expensive. Now it's expensive. Yeah, a nah. Civic Turbo? That's it. Stock motor casers. Nah, I like my shit to like look away. Them Civics don't be You can't be pretty boy with this. With, with this Mine looks good. Yeah, but it's clean. Yeah. But he want to be stanced out. Like nah, nah, nah. I want, like, I want AC. You can put AC in it. Oh, he bougie. Oh, okay, yeah. You can no? put AC in it. Oh, okay. All right. No, I'm with him with the AC, bro. Like Jamaican stuff is hot. Oh, in Jamaica, yeah. Anywhere. But anywhere. I mean, anywhere. I, every, every car has to have AC for me. I'm you going to run in the wintertime? Huh? Or you just want to have fun? Yeah, I want to have fun. And I probably want to try racing. I That's my plan. I want, I want to boost it. EK this. hatch. I can see him in a, in a hatch. Nah, I, like the, if I, I, I love my four door. It's so different. Nah, I wouldn't do a four door either. You really? gonna do a, uh, like a hatch? I would do not an EG, like a, a newer, like a I'll 90, do the bubble 98. Shit. You like, like the that. bubbles? Yeah, those are cool. But you see me like I'm mad picky. I gotta paint my whole shit. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Bob Slug. Yeah. Yep. Like I would need my car to look like that for yeah, me yeah. to say no, I that's have a different a Civic. league. That's a different league. Yeah. And Full cars PPF. Every panel PPF. Everything. Nah, everything is down PPF. To the I need to see you guys send me a photo yeah, of that. That, that car's crazy. outrageous. So Ceramic- what would you do? Ceramic coated everything, subframe. It races? No. No, oh, hell no. no. Show code. Oh, so you're not even trying to. You're trying but to I want code. my car to look like that if I'm going to be known you or can, going though. out there in the street. That's easy. My red car looked like that. Yeah, the, the red car was clean. The day before it left, he did it here. Yeah, the red car was clean. The red car was fast, too. Yeah. I, I would want nah, something literally just like was, that. Yeah. A little Girl, lower, though. That but was yeah, a regular, like regular that. car. Regular car. Power windows, music. That's a, e- that's a hatch, right? EK yes. hatch? We, let's, build, let's build a Civic, me and you. When? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on vacation this year, though. All right. This year. Where are you going I, on vacation? I, I, I still want to boost this. Where are you going on vacation? You're going to boost this? Yeah. I'm you gonna sound boost nasty. It. I'm going to boost this. You sound nasty boosted. I'm going to boost it. Um, I'm going to vacation the end of this month. Where? DR. Oh, okay. So yeah. we got to find out racing over there. Where? We got to be the fastest. Well, yeah, <laughs> shout be, out to DR. Fire. But we about to, Mar about to build the fastest nah, 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 nah. Honda Civic <laughs> front wheel drive. Chill, 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 chill. chill. Nah, I, do wanna, I, do, I think I do want to build a, a little Civic now, though. Now nah, you should. I, I I wasn't, you know, I, I was never into building a Civic, but you know, I was into building S two thousands. Me too. You but, didn't build one though. Well, no, nah, I didn't build one I, for speed. Oh, you build one for speed? I, bro, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm gonna say this on here. Like I worked in my best friend's garage every day after work, on the forums. I had my hands on that. No, I didn't pay no mechanics, nothing. Yeah. I had to learn everything on that car. That's how I know about Hondas, because I, I had but to do all this. What did you do stuff. to it to like to make it? It was, was it, it was fast? stock. It was stock. It was that shit was fast, bro. It made five five twenty five horsepower, four hundred uh, foot pounds of torque. Uh huh. That's fast what back then. That was like in two thousand and twelve. Uh, it had a Borg Warner S three sixty six. I might get technical. Uh, it had upgraded fuel uh, fuel lines, a six, and I think it was a six return line and an eight eight an uh, fuel line. Lost uh, me. And then two thousand cc injectors. I had twin scroll turbo, dual thirty eight waste gates. Uh, I think I had a tile blow off valve and, uh, what else? What, what am I missing here? I think that Sounds was it. Like everything. Yeah. That's all you need. And I had, and I had, um, this is one schmuck, you know, schmuck. Mm-mm. He does uh S 2000. He has like a J swap in his car though. It's crazy. in his S 2 K and, uh, he was doing manifolds. So I had a, a schmuck built manifold, uh, tubular or forward facing. So that car made, that car made power, bro. People didn't, yo, I'm telling you, that was a road racing car because that turbo was pretty big. Um, I was smoking people. On a straightaway. <laughs> on, on the roll. I, I know you can't, oh, you can't dig race those cars. What they used to do, though, they used to do uh, 300ZX rears, or you could do a Ford rear from a Ford Explorer. 
think it was like year 06 to 08, they would take the rears out of those and you can build them so you can make more power and lay it down to the ground. So I learned a lot, bro. Yeah. I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. You would I'm never think this that. Year. I'm going to learn this year. So I'm it's funny because gonna... that first episode we did, mm -hmm. he was talking about stuff. And I, I remember I said like vacuum leak or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah, going to yeah, say yeah. boost leak. But like people were commenting saying, how did, how do you guys have a, a podcast and don't know shit about cars? Mm -hmm. Right, right. And right, it, had right. Nothing to do that. it had nothing to do with that. It was just like, I ain't going to lie. I was kind of nervous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when you were talking, I was just like, damn. like You he, understood what it was. but I understood. Just, but mm -hmm. I, you know, when you're nervous, you slip up and say things and you don't even realize it. Like, you yeah, know what that's true. Mm -hmm. Give my man but, his credit. Stop talking shit. Yeah. What's wrong with y'all niggas? So, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't gotten into the B58 stuff yet. I know about it, but I'm not like a diehard. Like, I'm not going to be putting my hands on this car. Yeah. You know? You plan on making it faster? Nah. I just sold the port injection. So, it just looks. I just want to build a show car so I can get that out the way. Yeah, you just cutting mm -hmm. my ass just now. Oh, you want to be stands. Yeah. You, you know what it is? Shit. I, he's motivating me. He's motivating me to like. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. To, I, want to to, build a, I want to build a little city. I want now. to be the best in something. Yeah. You know, like he's got the fastest car in Jamaica. Yeah. I want to be the best in something. Front wheel drive. We got, we got to say front wheel drive. Yeah, you got to say front wheel drive. Yeah, okay. yeah, front wheel drive. Or maybe yeah. I should just make it all wheel drive and just go for the record and complete. No, but that feels good when you actually are like accomplish something. I don't think 100%. people. This is the best no, but podcast. I'm, I'm, you glad, did. I'm glad you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, bro. You, why, why wouldn't you feel accomplished? Like, look at this podcast. This podcast was created in no, but this less isn't, than six months. But this is different. This isn't, this isn't a podcast about like, like you, like you by yourself. My accomplishments. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's highlighting people so i'm not even looking at this as a competition i enjoy this like I yeah like but it. i wouldn't say competition but i feel like it's something that you you, you yourself can yeah. be accomplished yeah, it's still it's still it's successful but it's not cars it's not like i want my car to be oh okay. think about it That's think about different. it like this if i built a fast car then i can come on here and be Talk somebody yeah you know i even oh, though i am somebody gotcha. but it's like yo like <laughs> you see my shit back there yeah yeah whoever yeah, wants yeah, the smoke yeah. next lane you know what i'm saying like yep. yeah I, I can't do that so it's like so you want more I'm just a host in, in the car. Right, yeah. I feel you. I you know what I'm you, saying? Mm -hmm. So who knows? Maybe I'll build the EK hatch and smoke four or five in the race. We, you know what I'm saying? We could probably do that. Sounds good, man. But Anything uh, can happen. It's drag racing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Nah, we ain't going to do that. But we can build yours, though. <laughs> we're going to build mines. We can build yours. We're going to build mines. No, nah, we, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Maybe after I boost this first. I want to boost this first. This, my, this, sound, this looks expensive. Nah, I actually heard that this is very easy to boost. That's kind of why I, I kind of went with easy? this. Easy? Yeah. I don't think anything's easy and I guess affordable. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Like, all you got to do is slap a turbo. That's it. All cars are easy, man. Depends yeah. on the level you want to take it. Right. 500 is good for me. Yeah, I'm just saying. It's just No, it's not. For a start. I'm telling you, that's 500 not. 500 rear-wheel drive is different, though. Yeah. It's, but that's what I'm saying. You're going to want more power. No, of course. I know. But yeah. as a start, I would be comfortable with five. Mm -hmm. Five is not, I don't, it's, it's not enough on this car. Yeah, but you got that used to it. That shit is slow. I get smoked by everything on the road. You get used to it, though. Nah, I don't. I don't. You got used to it. Yeah. Nah, mm -hmm. 500 is definitely not enough. Everyone's doing like 700 horsepower nowadays, which is scary, bro. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the new cars are just factory. And then you got laptop horsepower. Civics, like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's like, he's a laptop Civic guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. And he, <laughs> you got to make it work, bro. Like, yeah. you got to. I take everything serious. Like I said, anything I do, it's I try to be the best. Yeah. It's just, that's just a mindset. You know, like we, we said in the first podcast, yeah. is people take that as, oh, he's showing off. He's cocky. He's, you know, uh, styling, you know, did all this stuff. And it's just me. If, yeah. You know, if I wanted a microphone like this, you know, I'm going to, where do I get it? How can I use it? How can right. I, I don't understand. Yeah. No, I'm the same way with anything. I, right. I completely agree. Yeah. The resources that I have or somebody else's has, everybody has the same resources. Mm -hmm. And I proved that in Jamaica. I use your resources. The car's right. titled in Jamaica. All the parts were put in, a, in Jamaica. car was assembled in Jamaica. All I did was fly in to drive it. Jamie flew in to tune it. That's it. So I got a question for you. Yeah. Who do you want to see on the podcast, you personally? I know you're a busy man. You probably don't even watch the podcast. You know, I asked, I asked Rick, because Rick is doing his thing right now with the G80. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to I want to. Yeah, shout out that. to Rick, man. Ricky, you know, you taught me a couple things about the G80. Yeah. Because, you know, I do the giveaways. We're giving away yeah. cars. So, um, you know, I always call him, yo, yo, uh, what do I look for? You know, what's this? What's that? You know, all-wheel drive. You know, yeah. what years? And he was like, yo, 22 and up is all-wheel drive. And this and that. So he coaches me on the back end of, 
you know, learning the whole BMW G80 stuff. He's doing his thing. That car's yeah, flying. Yeah, yeah. That's I think cool. It's making over a thousand right now. Yeah, nah, his, yeah, yeah. that car sounds amazing, bro. Yeah. Yep, yep. That, yep, that yep. I saw it on and TikTok. And it drives like stock regular. <laughs> The other the day we went, amazing. we had to go pick up something like we drive in the car regular, like we're in a thousand AC, everything works. That's my, that's my big thing. AC works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's a, maybe that's the car for you then. Maybe he's, I don't gotta he, be a he's getting nah, old now. You know, nah, that's how you know age when you start saying, yo, I need air conditioning. Yeah, I need AC. Age is nah, showing. But I've always been like that. I need oh, AC. No, me, I was in I Jamaica never, two years ever ago had a when I shot my red car. AC. I was driving hot as hell. Just hang my no. hand out the window, cruising on the toll. Sweating while driving is crazy. Nah, I sweat all the time. I'm sweating right now. It's hot. Me too. Here. It's hot as a motherfucker. In you here. see, you ain't got no AC in the shop. It's expensive. Nah, yeah, it's it's expensive. expensive. Yeah, 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 very. That's a whole different expense. So, who would you want to see in the podcast? I would agree with him, Rick. Rick, that'll yeah. be an interesting podcast. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's an OG as well. Yeah, but yeah. that's who he wants to see. No, but I, I he agreed. I agree. Well, you, you name dropping, bro. You gotta like right, right, right. I don't. No, Rick. No, Rick. All right. It's got to be, H- be a Honda guy. Any, be any, 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 any person besides Rick. A Honda guy? Any anybody in the world? They could be Jamaica too. I don't even know, man. I have no idea. Never put thought to that. What about uh, what's his name? Barney? No, not Barney. Well, who yeah, do you Barney. look up? Is there anybody you look up to? Oh, your tuner. Oh, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. Connecticut. He's in. Yeah, Connecticut, Jamie. Right? He's in Connecticut. Yep, yep, yep. I'm really on a roll today. I need like a handshake he, and he everything. Definitely, he definitely. He definitely opened the horizon of ideas and like goals that i wanted to do yeah he kind of like so i i would would you say he's like your mentor 100 percent, 100 yeah so we got we got to get him on he's he so he's on the back end as far as executing like something he's tunes you know he understands you know uh traction control like he's a tuner like he's a major aspect you know asset to my race cars or anything that i'm doing racing wise period and a lot of people in you know race programs that's out there is he is he a loyal tuner? Because I talked about this before too. You go to people and they start talking about like other people's setups and what they got done and this and that. Does that bother you? As far as what telling what the like car tuners has? telling tuning tuners telling other clients what other clients have. Oh no 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 no. He ha- he doesn't care. He has no interest. You know, I mean, those days I think are kind of over anyway. Though I understand no, where you're still, coming people from. Still do Probably that, that BMW day. stuff. Not BMW, Honda. yes, yeah, yes, that's exactly, the BMW yeah. stuff. Everybody. Yeah. I, this is the thing. When I hear Honda Civic, thousand off the rip. When I hear BMW, any G, it is seven hundred to twelve hundred. It's just you just know these numbers. Yeah. I don't even want to see your car. I know that's what it should have. Yeah. You know, I don't care who tuned it. Who, nobody has to tell me anything. Once I hear a Honda, seven hundred to a thousand horsepower. Period. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? When you that hear it, it should have. I don't care. If, oh, it, okay, okay. If you're my tuner, and you tune the car. You don't even need to tell me information about the car. Right. I just look. Cool. What turbo? 67 millimeter. That car is 8900. That's it. It's not 450. 450, you would have a 58 millimeter turbo. What if you what if you were just like a person like me who had a big turbo and didn't have didn't it didn't, you know, reach its potential. Still, the capability of the 800 is sitting the right capability, there. Capability, yeah, okay. Yeah, cuz my car was overbuilt. Right, that's fine. Yeah. Just like Bob's that car is way overbuilt. Yeah. This guy has everything in the you know, his car will make a thousand no problem. I don't think his car will ever pass 550 because he doesn't want to put it on E85. Yeah. He wants yeah. to keep the 93. He's a show car guy. So he wants to drive. He doesn't want to, you know, drain injectors, this, that, clogging stuff. You know, he says, bro, no way. <laughs> I want the most on 93 pump gas. And that's it. I said, so why did you put fifteen or $12,000 worth of parts to, you know, um, accommodate a thousand horsepower? And it's just like what he said, overbuilt it. Because I had, I had the hopes of, you know. He did too. Building the motor, I didn't. The motor was stock. Everything was stock. I ended up washing the rings because I had fueling issues. But that's you know that's what happens. I had a, a loose fitting on the fuel pump, and there was fuel leaking on the dyno. I didn't realize until I got home. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I ended up ring washing. Um, not because of that, but just because of other things that weren't working. I didn't know what the situation was. So you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I overbuilt the car, you know, because I was like, yo, one day when I I was broke, bro. <laughs> so I was like. When I could take the motor apart, yeah. I have the turbo at least set up, the fuel's set up for whatever I need to make it. Right. And that was it. So I get that. Mm-hmm. I understand. Most people overbuilt. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying with that whole tuners and everybody's hiding horsepower and this and that. It's, bro, it's, if I were to build a BMW, right, mm-hmm. I would go to whoever's tuning. Listen, this is what I want. I want to be the fastest. Let's say, what do we do? You know, I'm not, you know, even if everybody told anybody what's going on, it's still, we're here to race, aren't we? Yeah. I, it doesn't matter. Right. I went to Jamaica and I said, any front wheel drive car, I'll race you. I don't even want to see your car. I'll be waiting at the track at the line for you. I don't have no interest in looking at your car. 
<laughs> but isn't that what isn't that what racing is about? That's what yeah. it should be about. Yeah. I'm not going to size you up. Oh man, what injectors he has? Oh, 2000. Damn, I only have 1600. <laughs> what turbo does he have? Oh, 67. Oh man, I only have 62. You know 62. what's funny? You had a spoon engine. Yeah. Who? You. Well, yeah, I did have a spoon engine. Yeah, that's a big joke in Jamaica too. He has a spoon engine. Yeah. But it wasn't S2000. Yeah. But it's like <laughs> that's the funny part. Yeah, my, the guy that built my engine's name is Spoon. Oh, wow. So he have a spoon well, engine. I, I was referring to, I was referring to um Fast and Furious. Oh, got you. No, but that's what I'm saying. There's a joke oh, okay, in Jamaica okay. about that. So the guy that built my engine, his name is Spoon. They call him Spoon. Yeah. So I have a spoon engine. Right. Yeah. It's a big joke out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yo, your car went faster because you have a spoon engine. That's... You know, you know that that part? No. Nope. What was his name? Jesse, right? Yep. Jesse. No, Jesse was the guy driving the Volkswagen. But but Paul Walker went to Jesse. Right. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, don't do it. He's got a he's oh got a, yes a spoon engine with he's the black S two thousand with um uh what's his name Chan. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Johnny Chan? Chan. Johnny, Johnny Chan. Chang. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Chang. Yep. Yeah. And he's like, yo, yo, you got a spoon engine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and never, he was like, this guys, how much I money you said Ready look. That man. Uh, anybody who's anybody who's no, listening. No, the car, the slip. He went title. Remember, he was raced for the pink slip. <laughs> yeah. How'd he go? What'd he do? No, but he said he's got how much money under the hood. Seriously, that's what he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And I said he just drove, and then he just kept driving home. Remember, he couldn't give up the car. Yeah. And that's when the whole fight. The whole brawl fell out. That was yeah. a crazy yeah. video, bro. Yeah. Nah, that was fast when Fast and Furious. Furious was Fast and Furious. That was the real deal. I got yeah, so that was. I'm, I can't say. It. We'll talk about that offline, but uh, we'll talk about Fast and Furious later. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got. Some, whole, yo, I'm like, telling you, a whole two hours. I got. No, it's not a conversation. It's just like I got stuff cooking up right now. Yeah, some interviews and stuff. So uh, just be prepared for that, guys. Be on the lookout for that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he did it again, I guess, or he did it the first time. Could we say? Can we say, uh, uh, I think we should say I accomplished my goal and my mission. You know, so all the talk that I was saying before, any front wheel drive car, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I built the car, drove the car, done all in Jamaica, and I broke the national front wheel drive record. So before we end in the comments, <sighs> can we, if you're watching this and you're in a, if you made it this far, yeah, you're in a country and you want to, you call in a mount. Yeah. Would you, would you be willing to accept the challenge? In a country? Yeah. I guess. I mean, it's not a matter of the car. I don't care what it is. It will yeah. ship anything over. It's just the logistics behind it. You know what I mean? I, if I don't sense. have any resources in that island, it's not as easy as these islands. Yeah. It just can't be America. Yeah. <laughs> can't be America. <laughs> <laughs> but can't be America. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. So if anybody's like in other countries, yo, we want you to come to an event or whatever, I have no problem. It's just the logistics are different. It's not going across the street to, you know, supermarket like how we have over here or AutoZone to get parts. Yeah. We got to find out who's shipping the car, where the car is going, who's going to receive the car, you know, where it's staying. You know, it, it's that not as easy as it looks. Oh, yeah. I remember you was telling me about that when you was getting the car to Antigua. Right. And then I kind of like, you know, learned people out there, stuff like that. And it worked out for the, you know, the better. Yeah. But, I mean, you're shipping a fifty, sixty thousand dollar race car. You know, like my red car had more parts than my black car. You know, the body was nice. Stuff scary. like that. Yeah. It's scary. You know, once you, you, once you sign too. over yeah, for real. on a bill of lading, you know, for the, sh- the dock receipt, what do you do? You know, I'm not receiving it on that end. Bro got a tow truck. <laughs> the way you tell you, the way <laughs> that was, I was like, yo, that's sketch. Yeah. yeah. Sketchy, bro. For real. Sketchy. So, but I got a couple other islands I'm going to be visiting. Uh, September 18th, I'm in St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, supposed to be in St. Lucia at some point. Okay. Uh, we got Grenada in the works. Um, where else? Um, that's it for the top of my head right now. Trinidad. I tried Trinidad, you know, it just, the logistics were, wasn't adding up. Yeah. I was supposed to go there. Everything was done. I even flew in, you know, I met with the guy and all that and, um, just wasn't adding up to me. Yeah. So me comfortably wise, it didn't make sense. Yeah. So I didn't go, I didn't race, didn't ship my car. So that was the reason behind that, you know? straightforward no shit talking no it's just if something doesn't make sense to me something doesn't add up right i'm not doing it right <laughs> you wouldn't would yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're not comfortable Hell with something no. you're not gonna do it nah so that's what facts. that's what it was facts this was a good interview yeah great yeah, yeah, interview yeah, yeah, yeah. very um, informational changed my thought on a lot of things car wise yeah i'm glad i'm glad we learned <laughs> yeah i, we I, you know, I definitely learned i always learn something every single episode yeah um and i think this one you know uh, what i didn't add as you're about to say that what's up so the car in Jamaica that I have now, that's the fastest front wheel mm-hmm. drive car. It's a budget basic build. You know, the chassis is probably one of the ugliest cars in the class or in the field. <laughs> no, the car is hideous. 
Yeah, the it, it car, did look kind of it, sus. It is junk, 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 junk. The chassis of that car is beyond junk. Rotted, has holes everywhere. It's twisted. Like, it's bad. What I'm showing you guys on, you know, watching the podcast is that no matter what you have, you can work with what you have. Mm. And I proved that with this car. Yeah. It's not the prettiest, doesn't have the best parts, doesn't have all the parts, you know, all of the above. And I still executed what I wanted to do. So just, you know, giving you guys some motivation. If you guys have something at home, like your Civic has a primer fender, but it's turbocharged, you know, don't worry about the primer fender. If your goal is trying to go nine seconds, you know, continue doing what you're doing because you can do it. Like I so said, it's very motivational. I'm just showing sure. everybody that I didn't use, you know, the shiniest weapon, you know, the best weapon, the most luxurious. And I used probably the least of the least um, to accomplish the goal. So it's just very, it's motivational for me because you know, I feel it's a huge success knowing yeah. that, hey, I could have brought a hundred thousand dollar car in there, did the same thing with that, but I did it with less. What do you guys think? I agree. I agree. I wouldn't drive that shit though, but I agree. I didn't want to either, you know, but it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. I got this far. Like, dude, yeah. you got to get in there. Every time I go in there, I get another stain. So if you look, I'm always going to be wearing black shoes or black yeah. shirts, black jeans. It's just greasy. It's oily. It's, yo, it's bad. It's real bad. I know y'all be, be working. Y'all be, be taking the cars apart, pieces, transmissions, all that stuff. I, on the videos, I see it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, damn. yeah, yeah. That's why I'm saying, like, I'm not trying to build nothing nowadays. I ain't trying to be on the floor like I used to be. Like, that shit's yeah. terrible, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the I love, agree. though. I mean, like, it's the I love, said the but same I'm, thing, you nah, know. Man. I agree. But it's like, if you got to pop a turbo on and off real quick, pop a man and fall, bro. It's bro, bolts. I got work in the morning. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> I don't even, even want to take tires off of a car no more. Like, that's oh, how, really? Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, even, so you didn't put your hands on, on, on the on the I actually didn't take off the tires. Oh, nice. That's what I'm saying. He's bougie now. So they're probably loose. Damn. Yo, you. <laughs> Yo, the new. I got the new giveaway car outside. I'm the one that washed it. That's yeah, the giveaway right. car. Yeah, you're giving away a CRV. Yep, 99 cents yeah. to win that car. Helps the family. Helps someone. That go was to, on bags. Know. No, no, it's, it's coilovers. Coils. It looks like it was on bags. They just swapped the wheels out. No, no it's coilovers. Coils and wheels. Damn. Coils and wheels. Tins. What year is it? 13. 13. Yep. 13. How much that car go for? I don't know. What would that sell for? 13,000. 12,000. 13k. <laughs> Probably. Damn. Yeah, I entered in a couple of your giveaways. I, I lost. Yeah, me too. Miserably. It's always I only worth entered it to the be in it good though, ones man. though, like the, the G80. G80s. And Yo, G80. My girl entered in the G80. The last white G80 was won by a female in the Bronx. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. You ready for this? One ticket. Sheesh. Yes. There's people that have only but one yeah, ticket. Enters good luck. every single one. Every single one. It's crazy. I couldn't believe it. I said, one ticket, female, in the Bronx. God was on her side. Whoever that is, congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can congrats. watch that for you. You want to come to Long Island? If you're in Long Island, come check me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get a, you know, pink correct ceramic coat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I could be a good spokesperson for Minty Detailing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you, you should do I'm a gonna commercial. I'm gonna do a little, a little yeah. commercial inside. We got the products, you know, you know, a little spray yeah. wax, you know, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, tie yeah. shine, you know. Yeah. Some little yeah. all-purpose cleaner. We got all that here, you know. We'll show you Wait, how what, products what work. What you about to say? If you want, if you want to do a little ad read or something, I could play. I could make it a commercial. Yeah. Or if you have a, so you are technically an official sponsor for the for the podcast. Correct. So if you want to have a commercial, I could throw it in. You know what I'm saying? That'll be cool, man. You do that. Hell you, yeah. I'm not. I'm not editing it though. Cause I already do enough with this. I'm not gonna front. I'm That'll help people watch so the podcast. So have Ray do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah hell so yeah. we are open to sponsors, by the way, for those of you who are listening. But um, yeah, I mean, you, you got you know, thank you. You got a spot, bro. So if you do, uh, if you do, <laughs> <laughs> see if that you have a success. commercial, bro. Success I know it in there. Talk, see? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. got it can't be it can't be real format though. It has to be full screen, like 16 by nine. Yeah, so it can't be iPhone horizontal. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. you could do it on an iPhone, but it has to be horizontal edited sideways. Okay. Because yeah, this whole thing is gotcha. YouTube. So, all right. Well, it was a pleasure having uh, 4 or 5 back in the building. Um, yes. It's always a pleasure being here. I'm glad, you know, this thing grew to where it is today. I'm yeah, glad yeah. I was the first episode. Yeah. You know, it was a little shaky. All of us were nervous. I'm like, damn, I'm scared to you say You didn't seem nervous. Bro was like, I'm just saying, though, you know, yeah, I'm scared, yeah, yeah. scared to say You're certain like, things. because the fastest car yeah, yeah, in New yeah. York, in the streets. <laughs> Who won a race? Who won a race? But I said the Jamaica thing and I backed it up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the first clip. People, that's it. I said any car in Jamaica, blah, 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 blah. And people <laughs> were still looking at it. Yo, he's hype. Yo, he's this, he's that. Yo, bro, I'm the fastest in Jamaica with front wheel drive. <laughs> you know, and I, I'm not this guy. I'm not the show off guy. I'm not trying to hype or style or talk down on people. But 
I can use, like I said, my energy on how I'm uh, nah, it's a sport, uh, expressing bro. it because it's a sport, of man. what it took me to do. I, yo, I really worked hard for that. Yeah. It wasn't just wake up tomorrow, boom, let's do it. I'm a year and a half in in the country. Yeah. Before I could actually execute, execute what I wanted to do. You know, so it just it motivates people, bro. Anywhere where you are in the world, you could be in the other side of the globe and you're saying, yo, I want, I'm tired of going 11-0, 11-0, 11-0. You know, maybe just don't eat steak the day before. You know what I'm saying? Go <laughs> ten ramen noodles, ramen you know noodles. what I'm saying? Yeah. You Get save job, five though. pounds on your stomach or your, your whole body weight, you'll go 10 9. Or yeah. have your girl drive, babe. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I don't know about that one. Yo, actually, you'd be That's surprised. Easy. In a Supra, what's the name? His, his shorty was driving. She was breaking the records wow. in the Supra. It wasn't That's even kinda, him. That's kind of rare. That's not really rare. A female. Bro, there's female races. drivers that really get down, bro. They're all over. There's They're female drag races Hondas, in Jamaica. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. Hell yeah. I don't know that. I'm not in that world, so I don't know what's going on. Gotta I'm about to be. I'm man. about to be. We're going to talk after so this. So she, she's going to become the next ra racer. You coming to Jamaica? Nah, nah, nah. nah. She's going to be the female <laughs> racer in Jamaica. That'd be dope. That would be crazy. Yeah. It's funny because when I first started doing <laughs> content, lessons. people thought this was a car because I was doing TikTok videos. I did too. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I did when too. When I first met you, I thought it was a car. I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was portrayed like that. Yeah, it was. That was the plan. That was if the you plan. didn't know, you would think that. Yeah, you know? but that's, that, you, you know, you that know was what you're plan. doing. Yeah. yeah. That was Can you plan. drive stick? <laughs> well, we need three more gears. First you know? gear is the hardest <laughs> gear, though, babe. First, I feel like once, you, get, know once get, you know how to get out of first. Out, yeah, once yeah. you can move the once car, you move pretty the car, much good. I mean, at least you got the concept. Yeah. I'm going to have a CRV now. Wait, your CRV is stick? What made you get a stick? It's what was available. I, think, I don't even 90 oh 9701 that's the, that, that body yeah, gen I 1 got a, I got a 90, 90 first gen yes. 9701 I remember think, the yes. one I gave you the detail remember the, the, the white one, one? Oh, the was white it gray one. or white no it was you, white you, you had, had a one. clean you had a couple clean ones that I said remember I the one that you detailed here and it came out amazing oh yeah white. the white one the white one yo crazy five speed you got pictures of it nah all wheel drive all yes. of them is all wheel drive no nah no CRVs yeah nah the fuck some of them yeah some of them are front wheel drive. Where? You yeah. got to be careful too. You got to you got to do that little kneel down, look for a drive shaft. Yeah. You get oh, got out it, here. It says it on the on the the glass. The well, that's true too. too. If you want to take oh, these. When I'm in the I auction, I'd be kneel down. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure the drive shaft is there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. how was the transmission? I never, I didn't drive it yet. It's just stick sitting. shift. Yeah. Bro, my car drive like Honda. butter. Honda. Yo, the way he detailed it was clean. Like carpet was mint. Engine bay. Honda. Anything Honda is good. It sound, the motor sounds really good, bro. How many miles? Shh, the body's 200? got like 200, but yeah. nah, the motor's definitely been changed or swapped. Yeah, either or way, those things go for 350. Bro, them yeah. shits is going to run forever. No, I but know. that's why like when like I sell cars too. So when I'm selling cars and people are like, oh my God, it has 160,000 miles. I'm like, and? <laughs> my Corolla bro, had my 210. So, so, so hold on. got 210 right now. No, but listen. Yeah. 11. I'm like, okay, so at 161,000 miles, it's going to die? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, no, I just don't want to have no headaches. I'm like, What's the worst thing that's going to happen? The engine goes, right? The engine's $400. Yeah. Yeah. So if you put an engine in for 400 bucks, you're guaranteed another 160,000 miles, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. So 400 to get another, how many year old is that car? 25 uh, years 25 old? 25 years, yeah. Give or take? Okay, yeah. so 400 bucks for 25 more years? I think that's a good investment. I agree. That's why I got one. I, yo, I'm telling Great like, car. When you have no conversations issues. with people when it comes to logistics or like like logical things, yeah. I'm like blown away how some people think. Like they're just so like, mm -hmm. like even like this. Like sometimes they're like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's that bad. Like, yeah, I know. Bro, like, I, know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like, yo, just oh, at least, you know, let's look that way. I know yeah. you can't get the, what is it called? Yeah, or what yeah. it's called? Yeah, Peripherals, I know you don't yeah. have that, but. Nah, I know. But that's why like sometimes when I talk with people like, yo, can can you talk with me more? You know, I didn't. Look at it that way and that, you know, this way. And it's how they grew up. Most people, a lot of people, especially with cars, if they don't know anything, they're. But I think it's with everything, though. Yeah. You they know, hear somebody, like, somebody's yeah, like, is, oh, those BMWs everything. are trash, man. You, no, I heard my boy, like, once you hear that, it's like, yeah, I don't. That's but it. Even, I don't even without yeah. cars, yeah. I'm talking about like even real life stuff, like business stuff or yeah. even just investment yeah, stuff. Yeah, same thing. You know, some people like, oh, if I had this money, I would do this. I would, I would do invest that. in Bitcoin or I had crypto or I'm whatever. Like, bro, like, like you, you heard what he said. If I had 250000 somebody gave me to build a car, what would you do? Or if I had $250,000, what would I do? What car would I build? No, no, no. That, that was specific. That was right. like, you have to build oh, a okay, Honda. Okay, gotcha, it wasn't gotcha. like anything. You know, gotcha. like you but have I'm to build a Honda. Any money that is generated or that I earn or that I develop or anything right now, if you, if you uh, invest that into real estate, right, in the long term, just hear me out. If you can have each 
rental property bringing in 3,000 to 5,000 a month, right? And it only costs you 40 grand to get a house, 50 grand to get a house. Where? Even in New York, you get $400,000 a house, 10% down, 40,000, right? And the closing is six or 5%. So 5% of the 40 is what? 20. So you're at mm -hmm. 60 grand, you got another house done, right? Yeah. So 60 grand, you're throwing 60 grand left and right. I mean, in race cars, you're throwing a motor and training 60 grand, blowing them up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jewelry, a Rolex nowadays is 25 grand. Cubans, you know, bust down Cuban is 20 bands. So people are throwing this money left and right and not even realizing how easy they're throwing that money. If you can drop 60,000 per house, 50,000 per house, and you just keep dropping them left and right, left and right. Let's say you do two a year. So that's 100,000 that you're putting into real estate a year. Mm -hmm. Two in 10 years. Um, how, many, how much is that in 10 years? That's 20 houses in 10 years. Right. All right, cool. So now let's say 30 years pass by and you have those 20 houses at 5,000 each, right? Five times two is 10, right? All right, how much is that? 100,000 on income. Yeah. Doing nothing. Am I saying that right? Is it five? I mean, is it 100 or 50,000? I'm thinking a little bit too quick there. You so you have, five, you have 20 houses at $5,000 each. Bum, ba, da, bum, That's bum, uh, bum. 100,000. I was right. Yeah. No, it's 100,000, correct? I was yeah. right. 100 Gs. You're 67 years old, 70 years old, right? And yeah, you- almost, He's almost there. Huh? Not nothing. I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> he said, I'm almost there. I'm like, wait. <laughs> right, 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 right. But just, just hear me out. You're yeah. at 70 years old, yeah. right? You're chilling. And you got $100,000 coming in monthly. Okay. You don't do nothing. You don't even have to wake up. You can go to a Caribbean. You can go to Jamaica for a year, right? And you still made your 1.2 million US dollars for doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. No, I know. I want to buy a house. That's actually you, my you next You feel goal. where I'm coming? Like it, it's, everybody watching this podcast, it's a different league, but you have to have the mindset. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're coming up on time now. It's, it's pretty hot in here, guys. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, he's sweating. Uh, yeah, we're all sweating here yeah. and the door's closed. Um, so hopefully um, this podcast can grow big enough so we can get some Mars and AC in the shop. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> but um, we appreciate you guys uh, checking in. We definitely appreciate 4 or 5 for stopping in again. Yes, sir. Back um, in the building. Always a pleasure. Always, yeah. always. And hopefully he breaks some more records um, around the world. You can say. Keep the fingers crossed. Now he's officially the king of Jamaica. Uh -huh. Front wheel drive. Front, front, front wheel drive. drive. Front no, wheel front drive. Front, front wheel drive. drive. King. Of yep. king of Jamaica. Yeah. That is correct. So um, we hope to see you break more records. And we hope to see you again. Yes, Hope sir. We'll see you again on the podcast. Breaking Sounds good, up. man. It's always a pleasure. Yes. Appreciate you. So, guys, make sure you guys like the video for all you guys watching. Drop some comments below. Let's see what you guys think yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> keep it positive. That's just the likes. You keep guys gotta hit that like button. Hit that like button. If you are listening, keep listening. I appreciate all the support. I think we're right now. We're probably at by the time this comes out, who knows where it's gonna be at. I was we were number two. Um, and then now we're back to four and mm -hmm. and and the country actually that's an accomplishment too i can i can talk my shit yeah, a little bit there you go shit, there you bro. go yeah. give yourself enough credit in six months what six months the the podcast no, we started in january didn't we no i didn't release any of this until last what was it, last month a month yeah we didn't re we didn't release your shit yeah, bro Re this is like, like a this month is recent oh well yeah 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 you're right we, we filmed recorded it yeah. six but we months yeah. ago nothing went out until oh, all right so no. he's 60 days in 60 days in yeah 60 days in. Shit, number yeah, four yeah. on the chart number number four it's probably yeah, sixty days in number, number four, four in, what? Uh, in the podcast in the automotive. Uh, it's number four what? automotive podcast in the country. Yeah, mm -hmm. shit. And these big. podcasts have been out for ages. Donut Media is number one. Yeah, uh, Smoking Tires is a big podcast as well. Mm -hmm. um, but these are big YouTubers and they have podcasts. Yeah. Um. So it's definitely cool in 60, 60 days. A lot of it has to do with social media though. Yeah. Um. Wow, I didn't know that. So that's, that's really a great good, accomplishment. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm going to so, buy you a cake. I don't know what that means. My girl actually bought me a cake. She put number two on top. There you go. Got to get yeah, to number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? So, and it falls um, back into mindset. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chill. His no, mindset. You're going to get off. No, no, no. We're just going to say I'm the, his mindset. <laughs> no, I'm not, got bro, I'm not going to get off. <laughs> no, no, no. We're about oh. to get off subject. Yeah. So, um, yeah, mindset. 100%. 100%. Yeah, my, yeah. Mindset. So, um, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys who are watching. Uh, make sure you guys are listening on all streaming platforms and make sure to hit that like button. Like I said before. Yes, sir. Um, love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.